There we go. I think YouTube's fixed itself there. I had a few things popping up on YouTube that I was checking real quick before I started. Some issues on my end, it looked like. So, looks like it's resolved. I think that's good. Gonna pull for a Saturday. Um, we have like, what, one more day? <laughs> I know I'm getting this on like the tail end of, I think, her banner, which is a bit yikes. So, I definitely don't have enough to reach pity for her. So, yeah. I guess that's a bigger concern. I missed, I've missed a good number of days, so I kind of feel bad about this. I don't think I, I missed enough that I, I, like, got kicked out of club or anything, but... <laughs> it's been a little bit rough getting being able to log into this one. Actually, how bad is it right now? Decogrammation has one day left. Item is expiring. I think I did most of the decogrammation. I don't think I've actually activated the stuff, though. Yeah, I've already got the... I got this already. I just gotta do these. <laughs> so, at least that's done. I just gotta get around to that. Kazuza and Moe. Kazuza. Moe, I know who that's from. Kazuza... I'm trying to remember who that is. Kazuza. <laughs> I... Hmm. Sweets Club. Oh, is that the, like, cat-looking girl? What cat girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, how are you? I am pretty good. A little tired, but... It's been a weekend to kind of recover on, I guess. <laughs> you had a spark for Sayori. I don't know if I'm going to burn that many pyros on her. I don't know. I think she's the only one on this, on this like, grouping of banners. Because there's like four banners, I think, in there. Look at all these dots. Look at that. Look at these dots. <laughs> Look how many dots there are. That's ridiculous. I've never seen that many. Um, there's this one, which I don't have. I already have I already have the dork. I don't actually have this one. Uh, I have this one, of course, and then this is just the default one. Okay. So it really is just, and she's not limited from what I see. I don't see anything that screams limited down here. I don't think. I'm trying to save for Jim Mari. Oh yeah, the special Mari. Yeah, let's see how many days. Let's see how many days I've messed this up already. <laughs> I'm only on day five of this. This has probably already been well done. Well, I'm halfway done with this, though. I think I should be able to finish this relatively soon. Twenty-five. Okay. The selected ticket is nice. So you can spare eighteen dollars. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I'd do that. I don't think I'd be okay. I don't think I'd feel comfortable doing that. I only have one of the, uh... I only have one of the characters from, what is it, Arius? Arius School? Or I guess Squad is probably the better way to put it. And it's Miss Take a Shot and Run Away. <laughs> <laughs> Mistake a shot and run away. We do not have Hime. Uh. Sag? I don't really know how to describe her. Everyone <laughs> just calls it the tummy. What do you mean? You can't even see it. She's just. So. She's wearing so much clothing. Which is not something I normally have to talk about. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. 
Usually it's the other way around for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Ask it all. What? So. Alright. Um. I don't really had, have too much scheduled for today. This is kind of one of those like last minute kind of streams. Um, I was going to go ahead and get through the entirety of Eden Treaty. And then we're going to also... Uh, I guess if I have time, I'll cover the Decogrammation. I don't think there's too many chapters left. Seems like there's 25 in total. So I might just dive straight into the story and see how this is going, because I actually have been wanting to see how this is going to end. I think if I remember correctly, we, we left off with uh, um, Mika and uh, Saori in the, uh, and, like, kind of isolated in their own place. How many pulls did it take for implacable? A decent chunk, but I'm not too upset over it. Yeah, it seems like it was pretty short. Mika ambush. I wouldn't say it's an ambush. Well. It probably was. <laughs> Mika went pretty, uh. Mika pulled a Mika for sure. We'll just put it that way. Mika, Mika be doing Mika things. Which may or may not involve XD. <laughs> if you Kool-Aid man the wall, it counts as ambushing. <laughs> Is that how that works? Also, can I just put out this person's name? It's Yuka Zodrick. Kilogram thighs. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been binging your, your Blue Archive VOD since last week. This is my favorite. First time watching you live. Love you it, by the way. I'm glad you enjoy it. Mika needs serious correction. She's just going through a lot. And it doesn't surprise me she's acting the way she is. Because of just all, everything that, like... It's almost a case of, like, everything that could go wrong is going wrong for her. And whether or not she realizes, like, she's only seeing what she can see and not seeing the full picture, which might paint something completely different, is part of why I think everything's going wrong for her, too. It's kind of a bit of a rough, um, a rough situation where you have to kind of, you know, it's hard to step back because you don't necessarily know what you're what you can and can't see That just kind of reminds me with the it's a it, it's a saying in magic tricks What is it the closer you are the, the what is it? Oh shoot Oh, What was that one? The closer you are the less you actually see I think is something is something like that The closer you think you are, the less you you'll actually see. Ah, that's what it is. I think that's kind of a good way to describe Mika right now. When the press says what's her fairy tale, but it keeps stringing into a nightmare. Yeah, that's pretty much accurate. Didn't realize this stream would happen as early in the morning. I did say it was gonna start like midday ish. I guess I guess I didn't make that announcement for everybody. Um but yeah, I did uh, plan to stream it a little bit earlier. I try to at least get one that's more EU friendly. For our European peeps. Or not European peeps. Oh well. It's probably better for them. At, yeah, it's usually you peeps that struggle because it's it, when it's like seven o'clock my time. It's usually at <laughs> what is it like midnight at the earliest? I think, and considering all their time zones, maybe eleven o'clock. Uh, I like the complete west edge of it. I think right now is probably what seven o'clock. Anywhere from a six to what ten. 
it's probably not as great for the more uh, Asia located people at the moment, but you win some and you lose some, sadly. <laughs> I try to balance it out where I can. Three AM, let's go. Oof. Alrighty. Well, that said, it's time we dive back into some story. I'm ready for some story stuffs. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Her paranoia went overboard. Oh yes, for sure. It is a bit sad too. Let me turn the music up. It's a little quiet. There we go. Mika, stop this! No, no, Mika. Sorry, Sensei, I have to. You get the situation, right, Sayori? We're on a bit of a tight schedule, so let's hurry this up. One hour left until sunrise. I'd be more focused on the present if I were you. You might be safe if Sensei gets over here. Who knows how long it'll take them to get through the rubble. I'm not completely evil, though. If you can hold out until then, you win. As if that would happen. Since it proceeds to just jump down the hole, tackles Mika. No! Bad! <laughs> Mika surprised Pikachu face. <laughs> I don't like that expression. Why do you seem happy? Have you finally just lost it? I was just reminiscing. Sensei, don't come help me. What? Uh oh. Misaki is troubled. <laughs> he already doing the classic. I don't think I've ever heard her actually say that line, but I feel like she'd be the one character in Blue Archive that would say that. And we got some pretty timid characters that could say it, but I think she'd be the, the one that would say it. I'll be okay. Go to Atsuko. There's no time left. Please, save Hime. L leader. She's right, let's go. Sacrificing herself, well, hopefully. Things don't go that way, but we'll see. Anyway, we don't even know the way to the chapel. Even if we leave now, it will already be too late. That leader is injured. She won't last long enough for us to save her. So we shouldn't leave. We have to make a choice, save Hime or save leader. I'm leaving the final call to you, Sensei. Oh, do we actually have to pick? Mika means business, but Hime's life is hanging by a thread. What are you going to do? I... Oh, looks like we don't have to pick. I see. I was wondering if we were actually going to pick or not. But I feel like that would be... Gosh, that... Like, I kind of liked that in Operation Siren's, like, fifth chapter for Ozerlane because they actually kind of had two different endings for it. Granted, one of them is clearly canon, the other one's not. But it was still kind of nice to have that, even if it was just, you know, one, one dialogue choice. So. <laughs> but that said, uh... This is probably just going to be another case of just... I mean, this is already clearly an illusion of choice. Not that it really matters. Let's go. I always do kind of like it when stories are, are willing to venture... To explore the... The... Bad ends a bit. Even if it's non-canonical, it's still nice to kind of see them write the, uh, at least think of, think about what how they would write that part of the uh, story if it did go that way. Is it possible to get past Volume Three, Chapter Three, Episode Twenty Four at level forty-nine? I have no idea which is which one. Is that the boss? Is that one of the bosses? I feel like I feel like that's one of those bosses. I guess since they chose Atsuko in the end. 
Aren't you happy? Isn't that what you wanted? Was this what you wanted, Mika? What I wanted? What do I want again? Oh, to separate Squad from Sensei, but... I wasn't particularly aiming for you to clarify. I wouldn't have really cared who it was. Actually, it would have been nice if it was Sensei with me. That would be asking for far too much, huh? Don't give me that look. I know I can be a dummy. Yes, you are a dummy. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> or what is it? The open hand boink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they, what sound effect they usually make with that. Hieronymus. Is I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember that fight. Gosh, it's been a while. Is that the one where people struggle? Is that like the one where it's like, uh, invoke the power of your adult, <laughs> adult credit card. <laughs> Show us what power you have. It's just like, why? Why did you go this route? <laughs> or is it the other one where you actually have to like, be clever with the characters you're using? I forget which one that is. The William, oh, it is the William mission. I don't remember how I, what, who I used for it. Have I watched the fourth PV? I think? I saw a handful of animation stuff. I know about Shiroko Al the Alter. I don't know what they call her. Every meal is roll cakes. <laughs> or cake rolls. Anyway. Mika is a dummy though. Bonk. What did Seiya always say? Oh yeah, that I'm impulsive and careless. What a meanie. Okay, fine. Maybe I lied a little bit. I wanted it to be you. The object, the object of, eh, the object of all my hate at my mercy. Sensei only rescues their students. Sensei will go to the ends of the world to secure their students' happy endings. But villains? Villains who betrayed and lied and hurt people don't get anything good. Suddenly, Sensei appears from behind one of the pillars. OBJECTION! Somehow magically pulls Wakawa out of nowhere. <laughs> it just kind of hangs there in front of her. <laughs> so, Saudi, here we are at the end. Do you want to say anything? This is the climax, the scene where the witch executes the hound. Which I guess you're probably not going to be happy about, but you, you really don't want to say anything? You can beg if you want, scream and cry about how unfair this is, about how you don't understand why I'm doing this. Uh, no, should probably just say Venata- what is it? Vanitas Venatatum, I think? I think that's the phrase? <laughs> Just wait for it. Oh, we'll see. I do understand. Eh? Oh. Oh, is that a grenade? No, no, a smoke bomb? Mm. Venitas Venitas. That's what I thought it was. Not, I was thinking Veritas for a second. I was like, wait, no, that's not right. Oh, it hurts. It's a weapon that's been banned from production. I found it at the Arya's training grounds. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually care. It doesn't matter what weapons you have. No. This isn't our first fight. I know how to handle you. <laughs> Mika's like, ah! <laughs> uh, as I said, I understand your hatred, Mika. If not for me, you would still have your tea party, your friends, the future you were meant to have. I don't think it would have mattered. If you had not been there, Sarah, I think it still there would have been another squad. There would have been another group, and it would have been another Azaza. Or actually, it could have been the same Azaza, just I don't know how much. I don't know. I don't think that would have changed. If there was no Beatrice, then maybe.
I think I think what needs to change is Beatrice. Cause there could easily be another squad. Anyway. I also understand that it's my responsibility to bear that hatred. This fight is the Raiden punching Senator Armstrong. <laughs> Making the mother of all revenge stories, Jack. Can't fret over every death. <laughs> How disgustingly amusing. So you choose guerrilla warfare. <laughs> Considering this terrain, I guess that's the best possible way. Also, did you really bring a thermal pressure grenade to a gunfight? I hope you didn't think that would be enough to take me down. Well, this is saucy cyborg. Ah, oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I can't say I don't like your plug, but that doesn't mean I'll take it easy on you. Try your hardest, but what is it you people always say? It'll be in vain. I've learned that even if all is in vain, there's still a reason to fight. Yeah, shell stubborn. The face. Why well, do I feel like their fight's gonna get interrupted by other means? Like, they're gonna have this all serious fight, and like, they're gonna. It's gonna be so serious, all of a sudden, they're gonna like blow a wall around this area, and the two of them are just gonna keep fighting while the, everyone else is going back and forth here. And then the two of them stop, look at everything that's going on. It's like, are we interrupting something? <laughs> That's how I've always felt. <laughs> like, if you wanted to make, like, a big final fight scene really funny between two groups of people, have both groups somehow run into each other, even if it's- even if one of them is not moving. And then- <laughs> And then the one group that's like really going at it stops what they're doing and everyone's just looking at them. <laughs> ah, Mika, my muse. Does she know her role? How she has helped to forge my hell, and I hers. The hatred that courses through her bodies, it confirms our very existence. It's much easier to comprehend than some paradise we don't know exists. Wouldn't you agree, Sam? How charming. You still haven't given up. The little cracks in your dreams you're trying to escape through are hard to find, aren't they? You're trapped in my web with no way out. Are you scared, Seiya? Afraid of the power outside of Kivotos you can't tear your eyes away from. Your very existence attracted it like a moth to a flame. A thing. You ventured a step too far into powers you didn't understand, and now it's dominated you. I wonder what will happen to you. Not even I know. We're equally as ignorant of it as you are. As ominous light that can't be interpreted, understood, or communicated with. An incomprehensible idea that in human eyes has no purpose. Gematria's greatest threat. We call it color. Ah, uh, I too am scared of the color purple. <laughs> Nobody tell her her entire body is one color that's not. Nobody tell her. her. Her body is a color, and her clothes are a color. And her hair is a different color, because she will freak out. And, never, and definitely don't tell her about Purple Guy. <laughs> At last, we are approaching the climax. Do you feel it too? Ah, that. Yes, my trump card I carefully developed just for you. Just for Shale. For you, Sensei. Plot twist, it still doesn't work. Oh, Barbara. She makes more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
actually makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> anyway. If completed as expected, it'll be even stronger than the Artificial Angel series. Maestro will complain about his silly art, but a weapon's beauty lies in its function. I can't wait to see Maestro's reaction. I do hope it vexes him. Will Shale and Squad overcome my weapon and interrupt the ritual? Or will they fail their mission when they've barely begun? I can't wait to see it unfold, this fickle destiny. And you, say, will bear it in silence. Then, and then you will believe that hell exists. Nobody tell her the- nobody tell her hell is a color, too. <laughs> I can see it now. Breaks into the room. I heard you're scared of color. Let me introduce you to the color white, throws flashbang. <laughs> This is wrong. I will not. I will not give up. I will try and try. I must escape. Find the cracks to slip out. I cannot be trapped in this nightmare forever. Think <laughs> that's chuckle nuts. All right. I saw this funny video recently. Or not funny video. It was like an actual like feature length film. It was like an hour and forty minutes. Uh, it's like a full source filmmaker TF2 video. I think it was called Emis Blue or something. Emesis Blue or something. Hang on. Yeah, Emesis Blue. It is an hour and pretty much 50 minutes. It's a TF2 source filmmaker film. It is. It is something. That was, it was, it's a, it, was, it came out like what? Four, five, six days ago? And it's already racked up about 418,000 views, which is insane. But it is a TF2 film. It's actually really well done. So. That's amazing. If, if, if anyone is, wants to go watch a two hour long TF2 source filmmaker, uh, uh, it's called Emesis Blue. E M E S I S Blue. Anyway, I cannot, will, I, I cannot, will be, will not be defeated here. I still must. Uh oh. I don't know if it's lore. It kind of like. It was a very weird film. It like goes into like the whole like back like uh, it it explores the like what possible lore it could about the concept of the respawn system and the terrors that can come from it. I guess in a way it's like a terror of immortality. If you want to call it that. A respawn like would you consider immor it yourself immortal if you can respawn like that? Anyway, we'll, we shall see. That's a different- that is a different game for now. We are continuing more story. This way, Hiyori, Misaki, let's hide here. Hey, be quiet, lower your head. Who's the girl in the middle over there? She's wearing a really pretty dress. I don't know, she must be super important. <coughs> That's Hime, she's of royal blood. Really? She's royalty? Whoa, a real princess, she lives a totally different life from people like us. I bet she's never stolen food or had frostbite or slept on a cold floor. Are, are you crying? In a world full of suffering, I didn't know such a beautiful person could exist. It's so heartwarming. So, <laughs> Yori, please. I don't care how heartwarming it is, you're gonna give us away. Sorry, but... <laughs> just keep sobbing. Even if she's royalty, her situation is likely even worse than ours now. 
They're escorting a captured hostage to the enemy. She's a prisoner of war. She'll like she'll probably be locked away and never see the light of day, let alone left alone to slowly starve. Oh, oh no. Oh no, here comes the suffering. <laughs> Stop Misaki, you're scaring Hiyori. No, this is this is Hiyori. Sorry, so what do we do? Just go back? Of course not. Crowds like the these are perfect for, are the perfect hunting grounds. Steal everything you can get your hands on. Got it? Let's go. This is gonna go into the back story of all four of them, isn't it? Stop! <laughs> you violated the law. No. <laughs> Get out of the way, Eighth Squad Leader. You're going to destroy her halo. Please. Please. Please stop. This is what resistance will get you. Move if you don't want to suffer the same fate. Beaten kid, you haven't broken me. Oh. The insolence! W wait. I'll teach her. Teach? And here she goes again. I'm good at teaching. Yori, Misaki, and Hime have all improved their grades since I started helping them. I'll make sure she stays in line, so please. This is Azusa, isn't it? Hurts. Misaki, don't do this again. Please. Why not? Why not? Because, well... Why should we have to go on struggling? I'm cold, hungry, and sick. Every day is the same. Painful and unbearable. Why do you force this meaningless pain on us? What can come from this? B but... It's because... I knew it. You act like you know everything, but you're no better than us. You know nothing. Misaki, please! M Misaki, no, wait! Wait, I... <laughs> Misaki, no! <laughs> Hmm. Please forgive me. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'll never... I'll never disobey an adult's order. Never, ever. I'll let go of all hope. I won't rebel. I'll never pray for happiness. Never again. I'm sorry. So please, forgive. Didn't she just... She'll, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll never pray for happiness again, so please forgive. Isn't this kind of... She's hoping for a good outcome out of this. Which is kind of like this. <laughs> I know it's not exactly, but it's kind of one of those things I'm just like, I mean... You've kind of broken that already. Now that I'm thinking about it. Have mercy, please. Mercy. Hmm, that looks like Azaza. Why do you continue to resist Azaza? Oh, hey. <laughs> hmm. Jump the gun a little there. Hey, James. Why do you continue to resist us? Uh, a symbol of reconciliation? It was a fool's dream. A lie. It's not like you to believe in lies. Real truth lies in your training, and the lessons that we have learned here. Let go of all hope. Don't rebel. Don't pray for happiness. Everything is in vain. Azza, are you listening? What? What did you say? Where are you going? Come back. Azza. Tell me, please, what did you say? Don't, don't leave us. Azaza, have you found your answer? Please, what do you know? I, what should I do? This is an interesting point in time. <coughs> Azaza. Azaza? Ag- <laughs> Oop, uh-oh. You can't move with those wounds, Sayori. 
This is it, then. I guess this ending was already written in stone. It's fine. What exactly is fine? My ending. I ran out of pages a long time ago. I kept running forward, believing with all my heart I was doing what I had to do. But that didn't make it right. Yeah, uh, Saudi. I, I, she, she doesn't seem like I don't know. This kind of she's giving off this vibe that she's not really. You know, she's following orders, but she's not exactly. What's the right words here? What is it? It's like she's, uh... I cannot think of the word here. You know, I'm just gonna say lost. Lost works. Doesn't seem like she's truly found where she, how she wants her life to be. So she's just kind of, in a way, she's following the- she, you know, she's going by- she's playing through the motion. <coughs> She doesn't actually feel like she's found what she really wants in life. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe misguided. I don't think it's misguided. Because, like, that last scene made it look like she was, like, you know. She kind of, she wants, she tries to be the teacher, but, you know, when, with how Azaza was there in that last bit where she was going off and doing her own thing. And even, even in this arc, or this volume, where, you know, we've seen her evolve to where... She is now, I think, um, you know, all of them were trying to find the, an answer for themselves, and this place wasn't giving them it. Azaza found it, uh, during her time in that club, and <clears throat> I think Sayori hasn't found it yet. I don't think it's blind or, well, manipulated, I think they already are aware they're manipulated. They're already c very clearly aware of it, and actually, that's part of the reason why I think they're fighting them right now. Um, but I think it's like they never really found what they really wanted. I think that's what it is. They're just kind of lost in their own... They don't have a... They don't feel like they have the sense of belonging, maybe? That might be what it is. A desire... A, a Lost, searching for a desire, uh, or a purpose, or a sense and sense of their own happiness, that kind of stuff. So in a way, I guess she's just jaded? You know? Like she, like like the Venitas Venitatum. You know, it's a, it, she's jaded in that. I think that's what it is. Maybe that's how that, uh, maybe that's how I'm, I'm, I'm getting a feel for her right now. Free will. Uh, I mean, she's kind of exercising it right now with choosing to go a different path and fighting against the very place that she, you know, grew up in. So, I don't think she's necessarily that she hasn't found free will. She ha She's executing it right now. Even if she's only, you know, able to do so much because of the situation she's in. So, it seems like she's really just a case of a, of a, uh, a girl who's just lost. You know, she wants to find a purpose. She wants to have something that she can cling her, you know, life or, and value to. But I don't think she's as attached as maybe some of the other people in this organization. Whether they be, you know, brainwashed or not, that's up to you guys to think. But I think that's kind of how I'm I'm reading her character right now. Is is, is she's got this sense of just being generally lost. They don't have hope for a future. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that kind of makes sense for why, like, Misaki and uh, Hiyori both have the personality traits that they do. Misaki generally is pretty deadpan, so I don't think I can really read much out of that. You can't read a rock. <laughs> sorry, to the, sorry to the Misaki fans here. <laughs> you can't really read a rock. <laughs> Hiyori is just constantly, you know, in a state of... I don't know. She, she, she kind of comes off kind of frail. Very easy to, you know, make sad and everything. So, she's suicidal. Yeah, I figured as much. Not with that attitude, you won't. 
I can't read a rock not with that attitude. Oh, I see. Is that how that works? <laughs> Constant state of ha 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 ha. Yeah, that is that is technically true. Misaki does have that sense to her, so maybe there is some aspects to it. But you can't get a general idea with how she is just because of how deadpan she kind of really is. There are some hints you can get to her. I'm I'm kind of curious if we'll ever really see emotion out of her, like true genuine emotion. But well, it'll it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, Sayori, I think is. I think the biggest thing right now is, like, the only thing I think Sayori has going for her is squad. So everybody in squad. I think in a way it probably tears her apart, The what happened with Azaza and her. I don't think she truly hates Azaza. Because Azaza was part of her squad, and we can see how much she's willing to do for Hime. Maybe he may is a special case. I don't know the full story there, but that's kind of what I'm starting to see out of Sayori here. <clears throat> anyway. You called out for Azaza. Why? You heard that? Azaza of the Makeup Work Club. A spy chosen to aid my coup. If it weren't for Sensei, she would have remained what she was supposed to be. A mindless chess piece. Azaza, she... She was never meant to be a spy. What? At first she was... She was a symbol of reconciliation. What are you saying? Reconciliation for Trinity and Arius. That was your idea, Mika. I mean, yeah, but I just made it up to trick Sensei. No, you don't remember? You said it when you first approached us. Before Seiya's attack... Before the Eden Treaty, before the coup, before the lies and schemes. When we first met, you only spoke of peace. Hi there, are you an Arya student? What's your name? <laughs> Mika, Mi classic Mika here. It's such a nice... <laughs> there it is, chat. There it is. <laughs> Classic Mika. Oh my goodness. It's such a nice day out. I love the feel of the sun on my skin. Meanwhile, Misaki internally cringing in the corner. Get to the point, Trinity. Whoa there! Not very into casual conversation, huh? Okay, okay. I like for Trinity and Arius to reconcile. What? I know, it's super crazy, huh? I'm guessing you guys still hate us. And I'd also say that's probably why you stay hidden in this isolated district and refuse any outside help. All because of some feud from years and years ago. Don't look at me like that. I know how, mu how much anger and hatred from that feud pours into the present day. No one's going to want to compromise. I mean, Nagi and Seiya are super against it, and I get it. But at the same time, I don't really understand. Would it be so bad for us to try to be nice to each other? Little by little, we could chip away all that hatred? I really think it's possible. It's why I came out here to meet you guys. To try. Little by little. That's valiant effort. I can give her that. Could be a little bit too relatable there, honestly. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Sometimes it's... What is what is it? It's, you can try to heal a wound, but the scar still remains. Do you expect me to trust you? I really don't. So how about this? What if you transfer an Arya student to Trinity without telling anyone? I could make it happen with a snap of my fingers. Being... <laughs> that face. Being in the tea party has its benefits. If, Arius, if an Arius student can assimilate into Trinity, we can prove that we're not so different. She'll be like a symbol of reconciliation. Aren't I a genius? A genius, but with the memory of a goldfish, it seems. You're insane. Your plan is insanity. 
I know, right? But if we pull it off, San Nagi would finally listen. This isn't a decision I can make. We'll talk again later. W wait does that mean you're considering it? Do you have someone in mind? Eh. <laughs> Asa, it's a mission. A mission? Reconciliation. Your naivety astounds me. You're walking into a trap with your eyes wide open. Although, this could work to our advantage. Observer, see if she's truly an artless child or a sly snake. Reject it for now, but maintain the relationship. Milk her for as much information as you can. You don't want to try? Silly child, a symbol of reconciliation? If I scoffed any harder, I'd be able to spit on the Trinity girl. I sense discontent. I sense discontent, Sayori. You couldn't possibly have been thinking of acquiescence. Uh, I can never say that word. <laughs> the Trinity, have you? Of course not, madam. Tell me. Who taught you what it means to go hungry? Who stole the very roof from over your head? Trinity. Good girl, there's no reconciliation. They have taken everything from you, except your hatred. Do not lose it. Yes, madam, I will not. I don't think she takes those words to heart. If evil, why hot? <laughs> Chat, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Acquiesce. Yeah, acquiesce. Yeah, it's just for some reason I struggle with that word every now and then. I know what it means. It's pretty much, it's another way to say, like, to make amends and whatnot. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of champ. But of course! <laughs> anyway, I don't know what it is about her, but I thought Azza. I thought she could be that symbol for the academies. But we'll never know what could become what could have become of that future. So both sides were actually like she was willing to try. And of course Mika was wanting to try. See is just through here. You'll send her on a little extended vacation to the hospital and I'll be next in line to become host. What fun, are you excited? Aren't you excited? Hmm. Madame wanted to say it gone, and the opportunity presented itself. You only thought of us as disposable foot soldiers, didn't you? Why else would you have revealed Seiya's location? But we weren't some petty th thieves you could manipulate. I don't think... I don't think she saw you that way. If, if if what she said at the beginning was genuine, then I think that's not how she viewed them. We're murderers. Day in and day out, we're trained to destroy hate -lows. But then we received a mission. Shatter Seiya's halo. And Azaza, she was assigned to the mission because she'd already studied to prepare to be our symbol of reconciliation. Nucky's planning something weird. Peace agreement with Genna? She's gone totally crazy since Seiya died. Considering the situation, we should revisit her plan. Bite the spy in Trinity more carefully than last time. You. I didn't understand what you wanted or what principles you upheld. I still don't. Could have just brushed you off as a foolish, naive girl, but... I know you better than that. I thought your dreams of reconciliation were inconceivable, but... But what if it wasn't? What if we could emerge from the shadows? Even now, I can't erase the thoughts from my head. Mika. When you first approached me, you really did want to reconcile, didn't you? You came to us with the best intentions, but I deceived you and dragged you into hell. You couldn't accept it. 
the hell that erupted from your hopeful dreams. So you locked away your memories and embraced the darkness you believe lived inside you. And you're not the only one. Hiyori and Misaki were dragged into squad, and Hime, she never should have had to fight here. Azusa was forced to return to Trinity, not as a simple reconciliation we'd hoped for, but as a murderer and a spy. All this because of me, because of my weakness. What do you always call me? A hound? Yes, a rabid hound. One that infects everyone around it. What did I call out for Azusa? I have so many I have so many questions for her. Azusa was a victim of circumstance. You all technically are. She suffered the most in some ways, and yet she seemed happy. Azusa was always closed off. She accepted our presence, but never our friendship. Her loneliness was palpable. And then she found what she wanted. That's what mattered to her. But then she actually went to Trinity. She went and made friends. Met a nice adult. <laughs> That's a way to put it. <laughs> Met a nice adult. <laughs> also, the same adult that's helping you out right now. Azusa overcame all her hardships and suffering with a smile. She seemed content in that world beneath the blue sky I could never reach. The power of Perodosama. <laughs> oh, my phone. My sensor. Sorry about that. It's a lie, don't you understand? There can be no peace. Your hope? It's an illusion. It'll disappear with the setting sun. I've prayed, I've dreamt, I've hoped, I've lived and loved, and nothing has ever changed. Everything is in vain, Azaza. Everything. This is kind of like the whole, like, one of the, what, what is it? The... If you live around, it, if you grow up in an environment that is hostile to you, you naturally become hostile. I think that's the way you look at it. If you if you grow up in an environment where you believe everything, where everything seems in vain, then you believe everything is in vain. I think that's part of Beatrice's plan was to make everyone kind of feel that way. And of course, Azaza felt that way until she went to Trinity, and that that entire worldview of hers broke when all, during her time in the makeup work club. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what that is. So, what Azaza saw in that club, I think, is what shattered that view. Or at least, I guess, gave her the hope she was looking for, maybe. So. <laughs> I think Saori also realizes it, too, because of us. Or Sensei, I should put it that way. But in the end... It was Hanako's loot. No, not unnecessary. <laughs> not that. <laughs> she was right in the end. Everything I believed in, my hatred, my resolve, it was all a lie. Everything isn't in vain. My weakness was everyone's undoing. It's not your weakness alone. Everyone was convinced of it. The environment you girls lived in... Br ra you know, brought that upon you. There is but one person to blame for that, or at least, at well, I be believe in this cra in this case it's one person. But <laughs> it could be more. It could be more in other circumstances. It was all my fault, Mika. Asa couldn't find happiness until she finally escaped me. You know the links I went to to deny that simple fact. I want to know what Azza has learned. The answers she found at Trinity. I have so many questions for her. Can I be happy too? One day? How do I find peace? Will I ever have the chance? Or more aptly, do I deserve the chance? What if... Oh, she's crying.
What if I had met Sensei first instead of Madam? Exactly. How would the trajectory of my life have changed? Maybe I wouldn't have hurt everyone I love. If I had the chance to be good, I want to understand those words you said to me, Azaza. I want. It doesn't matter anymore, Mika. You take your revenge. Claim as much as you've lost. You were never a witch. I was the one who injected my hate into your veins. I've taken- I've took so much from everyone around me. Ascending is only fitting. I wonder- I wonder how Mika's gonna approach this. Plot twist, she's crying. <laughs> That's one way I'm looking at it. <laughs> Plot twist, she's crying with her. <laughs> I've always thought it would be Azaza, but it's for the best if it's you, Mika. She can't do it either. Yep. Knew it. <laughs> both of them. Both of them know. This. Oh, man. The, the writing for this is good. <laughs> Mika, this, like, Mika... Both of them are kind of, what is it, Misery Loves Company? And this is kind of what, that specific moment right here where the Misery Loves Company part. Both of them are able to relate to each other, and it's good. Maybe that might help them. We'll see how this goes. I... I can't. I can't do it. I can't because... I... I wanted that too. I wanted to be happy. Ah, yes. Misery loves company. Two sides of the same coin. Uh... I don't know if I'd say that. I do very much believe that misery loves company is the best way to put this. I don't know if two sides of the same coin might be. I guess I could see that, but... Hmm. But yeah, this I kind of expected this going this dialogue to go this direction. I've wondered that again and again too. What if I had met Sensei earlier? Since it could have helped me fix my mistakes. In before they both become hard simps for Sensei. <laughs> you know, like countless other characters in this game do. Mika's more like a corrupted innocence. Yeah. Well, no, they both kind of are, in a way. One one just got a very, very, very quick... One's... I guess one way to look at it is they're both corrupted innocence. Um, Mika's is more acute, whereas uh, Sayori's is more chronic. Sayori's built up over time. It started off bad and just kept building and building and building and building. For Mika, it just all hit at once. So they're both the same. It's just the difference is between the how long of a period that accrued versus chronic. So like literally the environment that Sayori lived in is what led to her having that corrupted innocence. Whereas for Mika, it was just everything going wrong. And she just kind of felt like she had nowhere to go besides just to continue down this path. I don't think this music fits. I- I think it kinda does. Cause it kinda has like a little sad undertone to it. It's the type of music that I could definitely like- f it, it fits. For me it fits. Cause I can see like these two characters literally bawling it out right now. With this song playing in the background. 
Do you think Shale accepts former Arya students to Abido's school? I don't know to Abido's school. I mean, if Sensei has any control of who he uh, admits into his school, I don't think he's going to care where they're from. Even if... I mean, he he's working with Sayori right now, a, a girl who put a bullet in him. Unwelcome school is better. <laughs> you know, I can't deny that. Unwelcome school is... <laughs> I think this is one scenario where I... I don't know. I don't think it'd fit, and I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the moment. <laughs> but no, I, I think I think it is the same thing. Corrupted innocence, and this is definitely where the misery loves company part comes in. I think it's a really, really, really. This is a good moment. Anyway, I didn't think it was fair. I messed up. I really did. But I lost everything dear to me. I prayed for some form of mercy. I'm just imagining. Like, Sensei walks back over to this area, and they're both just, like, hugging each other and just bawling their eyes out. And Sensei, like... He already is just looking, like... What? Misaki, for the one time in her life, is actually showing a shocked emotion. And everyone is like, oh, look, she actually can show emotion. But everyone's too busy with the two characters bawling their eyes out. <laughs> I don't see them hugging. I don't know. Like I said, this is a misery loves company scenario. I think this could be this could warrant it. Is it a bad time? Probably. <laughs> Lost everything dear to me. I prayed for some form of mercy, but it never came. Not for me. And this is where I think she was a victim of the closer you the closer you think you are, the the less you actually see. But then again, there was no way she could have seen it. So, it was unfortunate. For us, we saw... We, we were able to see all the angles. So, we were able to see that things were trying to brighten up for Mika. But, Mika never got the chance to see that. Because it wasn't in her scope. And now it's too late. I don't think there's anything I could ever do to make up for the horrible things I've done. Mm, I don't think so. A second chance? I wanted it so badly, and when Sensei came to my cell and told me all my friends would come to my hearing, I thought I could have it, but even... But even that slipped away. Everything is in vain, right? There's nothing left for me to do but to suffer and to hate. You and I are twin flames, Sayori. Inexplicably linked, cursed to never find happiness. OBJECTION! <laughs> We can't turn back time. We can't change the future. I think that's why I fixated on you. Revenge felt like the only thing I could control. You didn't turn me into a witch. I took the poison myself. Even when Sensei tried to give me the antidote, I spit it out. Like Seiya always says, I really am hopeless. Mika. Why haven't you shattered my halo yet? I know you have the bomb. I've given you plenty of chances to use it. She's not- she doesn't want to! If you did that, then at least I wouldn't have to. I don't have it. Since they confiscated it for- oh, right! <laughs> I forgot! Didn't we, like, break it apart and get rid of it, too? <laughs> I forgot about that part. Yeah, but no, like, there are, like, there are lines here, like, the twin th flames thing. I could, this is why I could see the two of them literally, like, like I was saying, hugging and, like, literally bawling their eyes out. <laughs> I don't think they'll go that deep into a conversation. They're getting pretty deep right now, but it's still the same case of, like, you know... Like I said, misery loves company. And this is a case where they're literally going through the same thing. So it's not only are they relating to each other, but... You know, they're both going through the same pains. Chat. <laughs> Broke the detonator. Don't know about the bomb, though. I mean, the, 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 I don't think the bomb's gonna work without the detonator. Unless someone just... I guess you could just technically shoot it. I imagine... I imagine it should still go off that way. 
But I'm pretty sure, like, some of the dialogue, I, I know sh what she said. You know, they both, they both are, I don't know. It's it's hard for me to say, to not think that idea because of just how the two of them have talked, or have been talking so far. Anyway, Sensei's confiscated it from me. He? <laughs> confiscated it? Seriously. Confiscated a deadly weapon like it was some weird magazine or alcohol. Ahoy. <laughs> It's the teacher's duty to confiscate dangerous items. I knew it! <laughs> I was like, I, I, in my mind, I was thinking, we, we're waiting to, we're waiting for the right moment to walk in here. Sensei, what are you doing here, Sensei? This is where we say nothing. Walk up to both of them. We rip, we rip her hat off, and then just proceed to pat both of them in the head. <laughs> you know what? No, no, no. We need this right now. Popping both of them out. Rip, my, rip my, rip, rip my encoder. If worst comes to worst, there we go, chat. <laughs> this is what we do. We say nothing, and this is what we do. Stream crashes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Two left hands. Okay, fine, fine. We're gonna be that stingy about it. Hang on. Hang on. There. There. There, you good? Is, is this better? Is this better? There, you guys could you guys could take your screenshots if you I'm just kidding, you don't you really shouldn't. You should have swapped the other one. Why? This actually like if you think about it, this is if we're standing like if we're facing them like this, this would be how our hands would be. <laughs> That's why I was gonna keep the now Pat Dido. You really want me to load up the other emulator? <laughs> What did I come back to? Oh, just these two having a moment, and we just decide to head pat both of them. This is exactly why it should have been the other way. Around. Oh, you just wanted me to like. You just wanted you just wanted it to look like we don't have anatomy. <laughs> then this dream would totally die. Oof. CPU at 100%. Actually, it's not the CPU that's ever at 100% with that. For some reason, the. In the encoder just doesn't like two gifts or the gif playing for some reason. <sighs> anyway. Infinite chances. Who is the enemy? Whomst? Barbara. No. <laughs> What if one day we need to pat three at the same time? Um... Good question. Sensei, I thought you were going to rescue Hime. I will. With you, Sayori. Sensei is surprisingly stubborn. You're gonna have to get used to that, Misaki. Thank goodness you're okay, leader. I mean, kind of okay. Well, at least you're alive. He already... You, you could have stopped right there. <laughs> Misaki Hiyori. You really harmed Saori, Mika. I, well... I'm sorry for all of it, Mika. Sensei! I should have explained it to you better. I don't understand, what do you mean? Don't do that, Sensei. This is all my fault. No, I'm sorry I left you. I had to help Sayori and Atsuko. We're going to rescue Atsuko, and then go back to Trinity together. I... What's the point? I'll still be expelled, and even say a thanks to me. Don't worry about any of that. 
<laughs> oh, I want to. I'm gonna use this one. So I, I have to. I'm sorry, chat. Executive decision. <laughs> I believe in the person I met by the pool. Say <laughs> so you're too much. <laughs> that one was gonna hit harder anyway. <laughs> I think I'm a good person. You believe I'm a good little student. I'm a witch. Well, if I've, if, I, if I've learned anything in recent years, uh, especially with Hogwarts, I don't think witch is necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Wait, what, 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 what? That was a cheesy choice, but I felt like I had to. Felt like the right thing. <laughs> Sarah is still bleeding. Oof. Can't be that blind, Sensei. You can see the blood on my hands. You're right, Mika. You're my worst student. <laughs> Two second, the two second, like frame where you see her face and all expression change. <laughs> no, not that. Uh, it, uh, it, it uh, these are kind of the same. These are the same, pretty much. It doesn't matter which one of these I pick. Oh, we just hit- no, we're just hitting her and being mean here. Hurt is worse than lies. Not necessarily, because that- I kind of find them both even. Because a lie can be just as painful. It can destroy trust, which makes it hard for people, and that can also hurt people too. I don't know. I don't. I, I see them both equal. I don't know if she cries every. She doesn't necessarily cry every time thing goes wrong. She just doesn't know what to do with herself. She does. I, th this one, I think, is probably more important. You're just a stubborn, troublesome student. <laughs> That's a little too mean. I don't think I want to say that. <laughs> I want to say this one. I didn't come for Sayori. I'm sorry, Sayori. <laughs> I came to tell you all this. You... Can't you just leave me alone, Sensei? Stop torturing me. After everything I've done, why won't you give up on me? Did you ever hear any- Have we ever told you anything about Wakamo? Have we ever told you anything about Wakamo at this point? Why would you come here and make me believe I have another chance? Of course you have another chance. If you don't, and if you don't, I'll make one. That's... If it doesn't work out, if that one doesn't work out, I'll do it again. And if that doesn't work out, I'll try again. And again, and again, and again, I won't stop. I won't accept failure for either of you. Let's include Sayori on this. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it takes the rest of our lives. I'll give you infinite chances, Mika, Sayori. I'm gonna make a sudden- I'm gonna make a sudden joke that ruins the moment. All of a sudden, affinity rises with both of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, 
I've given up on the idea of giving up. How does that work? Never gonna. Oh, no, don't Rick roll them. <laughs> they probably don't even know what a Rick roll is. Of course my students get to- I, I, I was like struggling to read this sentence for some reason. I'm gonna stick with the top one. Cease this foolishness! <laughs> I'm gonna vomit! <laughs> <Not see. laughs> Beatrice be like, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Your nauseating idealism holds no place in my basilica. Beatrice, you. You! <laughs> Your theatrics have become entirely unamusing. Did you really think I wouldn't be watching you? This entire city belongs to me. Do we- do you think I care? Excuse you. Excuse me, we didn't ask for your <laughs> comment. <laughs> Proceeds to just grab her and chuck her out the window. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. You guys are my student. <laughs> Petrus is like, don't ignore me! This is literally a case of didn't ask. <laughs> literally a case of didn't ask. <laughs> I tire of your pathetic attempts to validate your existences like insects to a flame. The time for games is over. Now then, shall I commence the ritual? Let's go, no! Are we out of time already? The sun hasn't even risen yet. <laughs> Was it fun holding onto your little hope of sunrise? The little blood halo will be destroyed before she has a chance to lay eyes on the sun again. And with her death, I will rise as the most magnificent being to walk Kivotos. I'll never let you he may have come in. Unfortunately, I don't feel like playing with you anymore. So we're going to summon a certain Barbara. <laughs> Or not. Bar Bar Barbara. There she is. Alright, it's Barbara. Justina Sanctus. Silence the Shale Sensei. Rip out their lying tongue. Didn't ask. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> Sensei walks away. Students, I'll be right back. A teacher needs correcting. <laughs> Searching the universe to find who asked. So is Mika involved here, or is it just three of them? Uh, Misaki, great shot, by the way. <laughs> Amazing shot you had there. Uh, I want you to play sniper versus sniper. I think I missed, actually. I think I missed. Okay, that was my fault that time. Misaki, I, I take it back. Uh, I am potato. Is this just a one-shot or is it hit multiple times? Well, that person died in front of it, so it didn't matter in the way. <laughs> Misaki, what? <laughs> Who is that for? Uh, we don't really have... This is not something I want to be using here. Bonitas. 
Actually, I think they're gone. Oh, wait. Well, that got lucky. Nope, it didn't. Oh, hi. 500! Five, 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 five hundred. Five, five, five hundred. Five, five, five hundred. Five, five, hundred. Well, they missed. I won? Okay. I won. <laughs> Pack it up, boys. We're going home. We won. <laughs> okay. Easy. Oh, hi. Even in dreams, you have a bird. You have a little, tiny little bird. Where? Oh, no. Don't tell me we're about to get greeted by a certain smug... Uh, dragon? D d dragon? I really don't... Is she a dragon? Is N Nia's a dragon, right? What is Nia? What? She's got- uh, is she just an Oni or is she a- Is it just Oni? Oni, okay, chat says she's an Oni. I wasn't sure. <laughs> she has the broken horn too, doesn't she? If I remember correctly. I never paid it. I, I, it's hard for me to remember all of her features besides, aside from smug face. Shutentoji. I've never even, I've never been here. Based off the architecture, maybe the Hyakuyako district. Oh, do I have a guest? Ah, I see. We have a different smug. I've never encountered another soul in here. So, what brings you to this dream? Plot twist, she don't know, it's just in the other room. Y you can see me? Wh who are you? What am I s what am I seeing? <laughs> Great conversation, you two! <laughs> <laughs> They're both just looking at each other like, Whomst? <laughs> Is it just Barbara fight again? Just more Barbara. Kuzunoha, okay. A riveting sequence of dialogue there. Yeah, I know, right? Ugh, that thing. How scary, it's stronger than anything we've ever encountered. Event? Event? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Event the Artificial Angels. Oops! It's the Sanctus of the St. Justina Council. Her destructive power is tenfold the angels. Mika. Just stand a chance. Well, we'll have to try. It's coming. Mika. Mika. Mika wa doko? <laughs> Skull Shatter, is that you? Nah, we <laughs> Wait, which one? <laughs> Wait a minute, which one are we referring to? 70 enemies! Great shooting! 
Well, that one worked. Just <laughs> spawned in, just got immediately RPG'd. We've got. We've got. Whoa! Um. Oh. Okay. Um. How? 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 how yes. Mika! Mika! Can we fire backwards and hit him? I think it's like right here. Let me see. I don't know if I hit it. Mika, no! <laughs> she dizzy though! Mika dizzy! Mika! <laughs> It would have been really funny if I actually hit- if I actually managed to hit the thing with Hiori. <laughs> that would have been really funny if I had nailed it. It's so hard to calculate that, though. <laughs> it's like, okay, I need to bust out the protractor, you get a, a spin a little, uh, thing on a- on a- on a string to get the speed. <laughs> Pull out a flag. Hmm. I'm bust out the calculator. <laughs> ah, this angle. <laughs> this is the Mika Sayori redemption arc right now. That's what this is, is redemption hours. Mika, are you okay? I'll bait them away. Twin flames, remember? I get why you need to save Atsuko. I was the same way, you know? So go, save her. I'm the only one strong enough to hold them off anyway. Sensei, I'm sorry for being your worst student. I'll never forget all that you did for me. All the chances you gave me. You. Are you gonna waste my valiant sacrifice? Take Sensei and go, Sayori. Don't die. Mika, stay safe. Don't you know, Sensei? I'm the tea party's brawn and muscle. I'll I'll see you soon. Mika XD. She doesn't listen to anyone. She'll be fine, let's hurry. To be fair, I think she's actually being- she's helping you guys out a ton here. Mika, we saw you were playable at the JP servers, so you- we know you won't die. <laughs> hey, spoilers! <laughs> Misaki, please. <laughs> Misaki, please! Okay, you got one. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Come on, Misaki. Oh, okay, there's a teddy bear now. Uh, no. Oh, it's these things. Man, the, this this is not a great. Well, that works. Oh, their hands are turrets. That's hilarious. 
Uh, no. Well, the guy behind him gets it instead. <laughs> Don't you just love it when you play it when you're playing a sh Misaki, please. Uh, as I was saying, don't you love it when, you, when you're playing a shooter and you go to aim for somebody, you completely miss the shot and it hits somebody behind them? I love it when that happens. Oh, hello, you. Can I just do this? Oh, right, it's explosive on... Right, it's explosive. It's explosive on Mystic, or whatever it's called. Um, special. It's not Mystic on explosive. <laughs> you can hear Yori pack up and walk away. <laughs> you just hear Pack go off a victory screen pass. You just see Yori just going, Alright, guys, I'm going. Bye. <laughs> Did you even read Sayori's skill? Uh, no, I just kind of used it. It does a cr doesn't it do like a lot of damage though? From what I did read of it. I was talking more of like the rock, paper, scissors part. Because I'm pretty sure she's an explosive, right? Anyway, this is a holy place. You don't say. <laughs> well, I don't know if I would call that holy. <laughs> I... I don't know if I would call that a holy thing. <laughs> Unless you're talking the type of thing that you'd walk in on and say and actually scream the word. <laughs> Then that's a different type of thing. <laughs> Hime, she's unconscious. We, we have to help Hime. Finally, you've arrived, Sensei. I'm ignoring the students because I'm only looking at you. Don't you give me that side eye, Beatrice. <laughs> Welcome. Angus Day. No, Agnes. Agnes, not Angus. I put the N and the G in front of each other. Or fl I flipped them. Alright, so, as uh, the current verdict as of things right now, I shall attempt to get Sayori, and I must save for Mika. Because Mika. And Sayori. Have you come to save your precious student? What a pity, it's too late. Uh, I mean... I tried to pull for her, I didn't get her, so... I mean, she's not really my student, but... I mean, I guess. <laughs> it's a pity, it's too late. Eh? With this ritual, I will harness the powers lurking in outside Kiwotos and elevate my existence. Of course, uh, it wouldn't have been possible without the royal blood sacrifice. Oh, she is bleeding from under the mask. Sensei, Sensei, you peculiar adversary. I do still believe you and I can come to an understanding. We're not so different, each of us pursuing what we want, using the knowledge we have garnered in our lifetimes. It's not an adult's duty to save. Is it not an adult's duty to save this world? The more power you amass, the more capable you are of performing that duty. Yes, but those that seek, those that are constantly seeking power, are the least that deserve it. Yes, this ritual will make me into something greater than Kivotos has ever experienced. Plot twist: it turns her into a, I don't know, a rat. <laughs> oh, it's a rat! <laughs> it's a rat! <laughs> Anyway, I will become the highest authority of this land and at last save this useless world, but it's my duty as an adult. Who cares for the sacrifice of one little girl in the process? 
It is nothing in the face of the greater good. Ah, yes. This is sublime purpose. This is existence. Sensei, do you not relate to me? As their teacher, do you too, you too hold the absolute power to absolve or punish the students. You're wrong. Eh? You've misunderstood entirely. What are you saying? I'm not a judge. I've never had the right to judge anyone. I'm not a savior. I can't shield my students from pain. I'm not an absolute. I can't scrub their sins from this world. I'm not some higher authority. I cannot comprehend your existence. How can you explain your power, your influence, the value you mere ex your mere existence aims to bring? I'm a teacher. That's it. If the students need us, we're there to give them what we can. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Just a teacher. I only hold the power to believe in my students when they need it the most. Then prove it. What? Oh, oh, oh no. Behold, this is my greatness. I am the highest authority. I am a sublime being meant to rule this world. I am a snake. This is who you really are, Beatrice. That is real identity. It's just a monster. This is, this is what we've been fighting. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, Miori. Or, wow, I, I just crisscrossed you two's names. Sorry, Hiori, Misaki. Yep. Okay. Don't be afraid, I'm right here. I'm not scared of her. Me neither, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna save Hime. And here comes the suffering. This is our last mission, squad. She morbed. Oh no, she's beginning to morb, chat. <laughs> it's about being human. Uh, to a degree, yes. But they see they see us as a teacher. If they if they need help, we're there for them. We may not have all the answers to their you know their qualms, but we can try to. Misaki doing it again. Maybe I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling like we need to explain to Misaki that if you can't hit the target in a direct hit fashion, you should just aim for the feet. That was a good shot. Wait, they're gonna move. Uh, let's take out Boss. Right Who has moved again? Nope, we still got her. Never mind. <laughs> she just fires a shot that runs away. Packs it up and just runs away. <laughs> So, she turned into a flower. <laughs> That's probably the best way I can describe her as a flower. I was gonna hit. There it is. I might as well just keep hitting her with this. That doesn't seem like a good thing. Oh, never mind. We're fine. There we go. That's a good skill, though. Let's see that damage number. Oh, yes. No oh, easy class. I mean, it really wasn't that hard. It was literally just use Saudi skill.
Ah, no, my manifestation! How could this be? Was the ritual incomplete? My power! You ingrates, insects, how dare you! Barbara, I summon you! No, I summon all the troops within the Basilica! Come to me! Suddenly, they all appear in front of it. Five minutes later, Mika busts through a wall. I don't know what happened! They just disappeared! <laughs> She's summoning more of the scary ghosts. Ugh, it won't last that, we won't last long in our states. You can still stand, can't you? Pick up your weapons. Get to her before reinforcements get here. Gather, my children. Protect your creator. <laughs> no, my leg! <laughs> Nika to be <laughs> being Kool-Aid man. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like something that she, you know, couldn't do. Here we go. Oh boy. Some long dialogue here. What we got coming? This, is this Mika? Oh, it's Mika. This is the worst. Everything hurts. Mika, no! But I'm not. I'm not done yet. Oh. Is this the Scola Cantorum? Scola Cantorum? Pipe organ. Sheep music. It must be. Gramophone too. It's funny to think that Arius might have a cha might have had chapel class just like us. Silly me. Of course it's not working. It's like a thousand years old at this point. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> I was not expecting her. <laughs> Koharu and her blush? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Face. Koharu, wasn't it so cool when Sensei showed up to save you? Yeah, Koharu looked like a princess from a fairy tale that day. I like that kind of story. A story where the main character shows up and rescues a despairing princess. Maybe it's a little childish, but I think it's beautiful. I wanted to be a princess, too. <laughs> but I've never heard of a witch who transforms into a princess. Well... I think I know a few stories that work out that way. I can think of a few. It wouldn't be a fairy tale if the villain got the happy ending. She's still painting herself as the as the villain. Sure, she's done some she'd made some mistakes, but I think the difference between her and the standard villain is that she actually regrets some of them. And that originally there were some good intentions behind it. I sure did turn into a villain, huh? I'm sorry, Saori. I really thought it was only fair for you to suffer like I did. But if I really think about it, I'm sure you just wanted to be saved. <coughs> you really are like me. You wanted to find happiness, too. Saori, I know you... I know why you're obsessed with Atsuko. Even if you lied, cheated, and hurt everyone around you, it would all be okay if it meant saving your princess. That's how she probably feels about Saiyan and, uh... N Nagisa. You thought maybe you could absolve yourself just a little bit, am I right? I know because Saiyan and I both thought the same way. Meanwhile, screams of the damned. <laughs> That's 
why I'm rooting for you, squad. She had a complete about face. I'll pray for your salvation. Just as desperately, just as I desperately wish for my suffering to subside. I hope yours does as well. Just as I wish and pray and beg for a second chance. I hope you get infinite chances. I long to be forgiven. So I forgive you. Hey! Inject the- inject <laughs> the insulin into my veins! <laughs> Not the sugar story, no! <laughs> Quick, everyone take your insulin before the diabetes gets you! <laughs> I like that ending better than anything fair. Mika. Well, here I go killing again. <laughs> Even if you save Atsuko, your future will be filled with suffering. You'll be chased for the rest of your life, wandering through dirty back alleys, living a cold, hungry, miserable life. But if despite that, if despite all of that, you truly believe you can find happiness in your future, save Atsuko, save yourselves. It's too late for me, but I weirdly believe you guys can do it. Since they will be by your side whenever you need them. Yeah, since it will help you through it. I really do hope you find the answers to your questions. Huh? The gramophone? How did it start working? Ah, oh, Song of Mercy. I never did like this song very much. Well, enough of my monologue. No, I'll keep going. I'm fine with this. <laughs> Where are you going in such a hurry, huh? Do a class reunion or something? I can't let you pass, unfortunately. Past here, the characters of a fairy tale are fighting for their salvation. Villains like us aren't allowed to enter. Okay, Sensei, save those kids. The Mika Redemption Arc. <laughs> yeah, that is not how gramophones work. That is very true. <laughs> That's. <laughs> In fact, unwelcome school is better. <laughs> yeah, because that song fits so well here. <laughs> but of course. Oh no. Design is very questionable. It's probably the, one of the more questionable things. Ooh, CG. Tamika. Pat. Uh, uh, did, did you need to say it twice or did I miss something? Pat. Oh. <laughs> now that's a lot of <laughs> That is the entire army. That's a last stand, all right. Objectives updated. Survive! <laughs> what is happening? Where are the reinforcements? Where is Barbara? I summon you. Hey. This song. This is Kyrie Elias? I don't know how to say it, actually. 
Mika, it's Mika. It cannot be, but of course. <laughs> Suddenly, out of behind a pillar that nobody was expecting, he appears and says. <laughs> <laughs> Way to ruin it with butt of course. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> this card is still the best character, is it now? No, the Song of Mercy cannot play in my territory. This should be impossible. What trickery is this? I am sure the instruments and gramophones were broken. Is this a twisted miracle? I won't believe it. It must be a curse. Only hatred and contempt can echo within my halls. Every last one of you deserves to rot and suffer in this hell. You deserve no salvation. Shut up. <laughs> Damare. <laughs> what, I don't know. Which one, whatever one you want to say. What did you say to me? Don't ever speak to my precious students again. <laughs> to my students and hurt them. How dare you speak to me this way. Uh, <laughs> She's changing again? I will not be defeated. Sayori, come to your master. You will be the new sacrifice. You were the one who brought Sensei here. You must be punished. No. Yes, ma'am. Eh? What in the seven hells do you think you're doing? Mary Squad, I would sacrifice myself a thousand times over to make up for what I've done to you all. Well, madam, come and get me. That idiotic sensei, we have to go now. We'll rid this world of Beatrice for good. Yes, I'm ready. Angie. <laughs> And just runs up and punches. He just decked Beatrice in her Armstrong style. <laughs> Making the mother of, all, of, mother of all miracles here, Jack. <laughs> Can't fret over every fail. <laughs> well, I really can't do anything here. Aside from just... Hit her. That's supposed to do damage over time, right? That's for 48. That's for a long period of time. One times two, so it should be it should be in one or two, and I think we're good. Also, can I just see how fast our EX is charging? Let's go ahead and refresh this. <laughs> okay, well, there's enough of you in front of it. I'm probably not gonna hit her with this. Well, no, I can. Hyori, you honestly should just... You really should just stay here and keep firing. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. Just, just some criticism from your sensei. Just some criticism. Though I, I, I can at least give you a 10 out of 10 for your cardio. <laughs> I'm just like, there's not much I can really do there. I, I had two skills. We were generating pretty quickly. One of them is a damage over time thing. So it's just literally just have he already constantly running back and forth and just keep shooting. 
damage which she carries quite a good card. Oh yeah, for sure. That's why I said I was gonna give her a ten out of ten on that. <laughs> Though I'm not the I'm not the gem instructor. Well, I guess I do we teach it like are we actually teaching a course or are we just kind of there? I don't really I don't really know how we t what what kind of instruction we give. Do we just teach all the subjects or do we just I'm assuming all of them because we're like the only teacher. Alrighty, anyway. Ah, gra how, why, my, my plan, my territory, my ritual, my, my power. Ah! <laughs> Collapse. And she's pending. Is it over? Heck, <laughs> is he me okay? Let's go, no. She's still up there. I don't know if she's... Get her down, please, right now. <clears throat> Blood rush on there, though. I mean, that works. Oh no. He may, he may wake up. Please wake up. He may. Hair injuries. She's lost too much blood. He may. Atsuko. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So please, just open your eyes. I'll do anything. Don't, don't leave me, Hime. Oh! Saori. <laughs> Let's go, yes, yes it's me. She's so happy. Hime. Hime, can you hear us? Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, Hiyori, Misaki, I'm back. I'm just gonna... There we go. I have, I have acquired the necessity. There you go, chat. <laughs> Very important that I acquire that. <laughs> Look, my God, go your home. Hi, Sayori. You're alive. You're okay. I'm right here. I can feel you in my arms, so I can believe it. Thank you. Thank you for surviving, Otsuko. Yeah, she. You can clearly see just like how much, how beat up she is. My goodness. You came for me, you saved me. She's crying. No more tears, Sayori, I'm safe thanks to you. Sensei helped us? Yes, if it weren't for them. Thank you, Sensei. Everything's okay now, I can feel it. Yes, everything is okay now. Now we need to start taking care of everyone else's injuries, because <laughs> oh my gosh! Go to Beatrice on the ground. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> it's over, Beatrice. I'll never be defeated. Not by you. You think you've won? All you did was disrupt my ritual, Sensei. I still have Barbara and the Arya's troops. I still have my Mises. Don't look down at me like at me like that. You've won nothing. You think everything is over now? Not everything, but it's time to close this little storybook. Mika. Oh no! <laughs> Golconde! <laughs> I was making the joke! <laughs> I didn't think he was actually here! <laughs> I made the whole joke about him being emerging from out of nowhere. <laughs> well, I guess it's the two of them, now that I think about it. He was behind one of the pillars all this time. <laughs> Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it, chat? Now, now, let's skip the theatrics. I'm terribly sorry if I've surprised you. I am Gold Conde of Government Gematria. Although introductions may be unnecessary, Sensei, we've met before. Maybe. Maybe not. 
Who knows? Put those silly weapons down. I'm only here to retrieve madame. Me? I'm not in the business of picking a fool's fight. Not all gematria can turn into monsters like madame, after all. That was like a backhanded insult. <laughs> and yes, yes, madame. This was not your story to enter, and sensei was not your rival. Even I can see that. <laughs> Get it? The events, conflicts, and the processes you started are now insignificant bygones. My beautiful madame, you aren't the main character nor the antagonist. Instead, look up the term plot device in the dictionary! Man, we may have defeated her in battle, but he just slaughtered her. <laughs> Might as well have been killed there on the spot. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, sensei, wherever you intervene, you rewrite the story with your desired ending. If not for you, our poor madam would have been successful. Your chosen form of conflict resolution was believing in your students? A bit bland and overdone, if you ask me. Oh dear, oh dear, have I made you uncomfortable? That's ever so rude of me. I'll return with Madame now. Please stand up, Madame, if you even can. I only have one walking cane. <laughs> okay, that last one was kind of a little oof. <laughs> I think she's been roasted enough. <laughs> <laughs> Your wait. Oh, do you plan on stop? Do you plan to stop me? I would strongly recommend against that, Sensei. I can utilize various tools. The halo destroying bomb you have is one of my creations. Oh my, I wouldn't detonate it in this holy place. It wouldn't be effective against you at all, not a tiny bit. Probably because we have no halo? I was never able to confirm it. Could successfully destroy a halo. Hmm. I suppose I'll just throw it away. Madam, your experiment has failed. Off we go. Oh god. Excuse us. I'll see you again, Sensei. The door opens for a brief second. Man pokes his head out. But of course! <laughs> Probably. It probably has something- it's- it's probably tied specifically to that. Oh, well, we're not done yet. We still have some combat. S someone special. Oh, probably just the rest of the army. Mika playable? Question. <laughs> Is everyone okay? I can stand, at least. Yes. Is it really over? Beatrice. She ran away. She got away? But she won't be able to hurt you anymore. It's really weird seeing her out of her usual uniform. Or attire. That's probably a better word. Thank you for helping us. The Atsuko smile, though. Can I actually hide that? No, I can't. I'm glad you're okay. Do you need your mask? I think I'll be fine. Madame was the one who gave me that mask. When I got caught in Azusa's bomb, some kind of a device protected my body. I believe it was from the mask. It must have been Madame's failsafe to ensure I didn't die before the ritual. Well, I mean, either of these are kind of important. I'm going to say the bottom one. You're correct. I never went to... 
I never want to have to hide my voice again, but I will keep myself safe. Okay, Sensei. We saved Hime. You can do whatever you need to know. Whatever I need. <clears throat> I was the culprit behind everything. The Eden Treaty incident, the Seiya and Nagisa attacks, Misaki, Hiori, and Atsuko's, Atsuko's pain. I'm responsible for all of it. The General Student Council, Trinity, the Corrections Bureau, send me wherever you think it's fitting. Takes hat off. Bonks her open-handedly. <laughs> what are you saying, Sayori? Leader? This is a bad joke, Leader. No, I've done too much harm with no consequences. But I'm ready now. I want to take responsibility. <clears throat> Leader. You're right. You're responsible for a lot, Sayori. You've been responsible for protecting everyone around you all this time. Huh. Interesting. I didn't think I'd see all this art here. Mm, say this one. You've been taking care of them, protecting them, and enduring the pain. You grew out of the concrete and had to adapt. You made horrible decisions and learned even worse lessons. I think that's the better one to say. Not everyone's gonna get the concrete thing. <coughs> You're all delinquent students who's caused everyone trouble. But that doesn't mean you deserve to suffer. Hmm. I'll say this one. Adults like me are responsible for creating a world that hurt you. What are you saying? That's... Then what do I do? What am I supposed to do now, Sensei? I was gonna choose the second one. There are sometimes some things that have that happen in life where a kid makes a mistake and sometimes they have to endure what consequences come. <sighs> sometimes... You know, it's one of those things where I'm just like, you want to avoid them going through those kind of things, but there's a point where you can have something severe enough. That said, though, it is, I do agree heavily with the second one. If you grow up in an environment that's bad, or that's toxic, you become toxic. It's best that the environment is built to help them. Are there any other adults in Kivotos? Uh, I guess it depends on what they consider an adult here. We talk If we're talking just anyone who is, like, I mean, if we're talking like us, kind of an adult, I think we might be one of the uniques. Otherwise, we're looking at, like, for example, the, the owner of that ramen place or what it was called. Thank you, Colin. How are you? Later. You're just supposed to live, Sayori. Live. I don't understand. I do, I think. You may. Saudi, is there anything you want to do? Azaz has said she liked learning and spending time with her friends. Is there anything you want to try? What do you want to do, Saudi? Do you have a favorite food? You've never spoken of anything except protecting us. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you have any dreams? I never- she probably never thought about this stuff. I don't know. I've never- <clears throat> What I like, what I want, they're foreign concepts to me. Sorry, you're responsible, strong, and- And you've really- you're really good at teaching, even though you're kinda- <laughs> Even though you're kinda scary. You never stop working and come up with a plan in any situation. 
And you take so much initiative, it exhausts me. Misaki, Misaki be like that though. Hmm, I see. Then Sayori could use a vacation. Be a good teacher one. Oh, that's a good point. Peter has a teacher? It's hard to imagine, isn't it? Do you think so? I could see it perfectly. But I can't fathom having a future at all, let alone what I would do with it. Well, you've never had this kind of thing before. This is kind of a different type of life. You've broken free of the, of the, of the previous life you had. <clears throat> it's a different thing. Never thought about life beyond surviving the current moment. I don't know what that means to just live. I... Do I deserve the, to dream of a future? You need to find those answers on your own, Sayori. With that, it's time to say goodbye, squad. You're leaving, Sensei? I'm sorry, but another student needs my help. Wait. I'm not ready. I- we- No, you're right. I'll find the answer on my own. I know you will, Sayori. I've always known. <laughs> Since they left so fast, they went to go find Mika. Mika's kind of scary. Will Sensei be okay? They will be. Sensei was okay last time. Last time? Yes, and every other time. Sensei will have a plan. Beatrice and all her powers suppressed in the Arius district have disappeared. Here. Sony, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm confused. I don't really understand everything Sensei said yet. But for the first time in my life, I feel like it's okay for me to be alive. Mika XD noises. Cough, cough. No, Mika! Oh my gosh! I'm not so cute right now! Oh no! It hurts a lot, but at least I made it to sunrise. Atsuko was safe successfully by now, right? With Sensei by their side, Sayori and the rest must have had their happy ending. That's good. What a relief. I guess this is it for me. I'm sorry, Sensei. I really would have gone back with you if I had the chance. Mika! <laughs> sorry, I had, to go. I had to give it that much energy I felt like. <laughs> Sensei. Sorry I'm late. Did you wait long? It's really you. What are you doing here? Infinite chances, remember? When you're in danger, I'll come running. But I'm the villain here. I don't deserve your mercy. Bonk. <laughs> Did you think this through? How are we gonna how are you gonna fight the council? I'm the strongest and I couldn't do anything. It's honestly unfair how strong they are. You have to run, Sensei. I won't let you get hurt for me. Mika, you really are a troublemaker. I know these. They're, these are the same. But I won't even abandon my bad students. <laughs> that 
Oh my god. <laughs> ah, yes! The power of card! <laughs> Let me take out my imaginary card! <laughs> it just. Oh, that went behind the. Oops. <laughs> Shoot! There we go. <laughs> Take out your credit card. What's that gonna do, Sensei? <laughs> how, how dare you? I tell you, Chief. Hmm. Or we on sub? Why are some of you saying three? There is no third option. <laughs> what third option do you people speak of? But of course. You know, I'm, I'm gonna play towards her fairy tale. I'm gonna do this one anyway. Wow. <laughs> she said nothing else. <laughs> Do or I commit Misaki. I like how that actually is what we mean now. Hey, there's special armor. There's special armor. You know what that means. Bring out the tank! <laughs> the tank! Tank! Get the tank! Bring out the ninjas! Double ninjas! Uh. Oz is a swimsuit edition, wherever she is. There it is. And, uh. Ninji. <laughs> I don't have her leveled all the way, though. I do want to use her, but she's not leveled yet, because I blew all of the resources on this one. It's okay, chat. We have double the nin nin. I guess Asuka could become somewhat of a ninja. She probably could be a ninja, actually. She's a ser she's serious enough. I think she could train for it. And you get a volleyball. Super kick. Dead. <laughs> yeah, but she probably could train herself if she wanted to, or at least she probably could learn it. If there's one girl that'd be confident in that kind of st I, I would be confident with that. I think it'd be her. Hey, how you doing? This is gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> hey, look, it's the classic thing of what happens when you have her uh, uh, on the field. You can't see the entire front team because the tank is taking the screen. <laughs> Tree. And you get a volleyball. No. Oh. 
she is getting eviscerated. Wow. <laughs> Hang on. I, I need to... I need... There we go. You know what? Sure, we'll, 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 we'll give it to this one, too. I can't do more than two, otherwise my, my encoder will actually destroy itself. <laughs> power of card. Nah, it's more of the power of, uh, hey, look, this is the one, uh, this is the one damage type that I'm probably the best equipped against. <laughs> it's the one damage type I'm absolutely the best equipped for. Special armor be like, oh, I need to get rid of that hand. It's just floating. Cyber, Cyber Blade's about to be sent to Brazil. <laughs> Actually, I think he was just sent... I think he was sent to Brazil. <laughs> Cyber Blade is now in Brazil. <laughs> YouTube has sent him to Brazil. <laughs> He's gonna end up in Brazil if he doesn't watch it. Oh no! <laughs> he said Prince. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Evan, the chat for Cyberblade. He's now in Brazil. I don't know how long that is. <laughs> Brazil, no, you're going to the Philippines. Why, wait, is the Philippines worse? What? Anyway, what happened? Why can't we reach Madame? Emergency, the catacombs have been breached. Trinity forces are pouring out of the entrances. How is that possible? This way. Let's go. Who are you? Oh, hi, Mine. So this is the RIS district. It's as Sia said, this place needed our aid, not the... The The predation. The predation, there. Stop right there! We have... <laughs> F. get a chance <laughs> forgive me I allowed my personal memories and feelings to impede my duties all this time sit in Hanai treat them yes captain from here on out your role is to quickly rescue and treat any enemies I injure stay close behind me uh, captain this is our moto <laughs> motto Mine destroys everything and her knights pick up the pieces it's like self-generating infinite power. I don't know if I would call that a motto, <laughs> or even a correct statement. Medial Knights, remain diligent. Go forth with faith and honor in your heart. Medicine knows no borders. Charge, liberate the Arius district and save <laughs> Sensei and Mika. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mine, Mine is an accurate representation of that one medic in a Team Fortress 2 public lobby that for some reason has decided that he is that he is going to attack you, tunnel vision you, chase you to the other side of the map with bone saw in hand, and then and then rage when he gets destroyed. <laughs> However, for Mine in this case, she isn't going to get destroyed. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
It, this is so. I guess actually, no. The be the better way to put it is this. No, here's the better. Here's the better one. Mine, Mine is the is the accurate representation of two medics in a TF2 public lobby, both of which have Uber saws and the standard Uber medic medic gun, who are proceeding to constantly chain Uber each other and melee everybody to death. <laughs> Why does it always come back to TF2? Because TF2 is TF2. So a medic plus heavy. Nah, you don't need a heavy. You just need two medics. Two medics with an uber saw and a medic gun. And as long as both of them are coordinated enough, it's going to be the bane of the other team's existence. <laughs> And that's the fu the funny th like that's the thing about that loadout too like when two medics do that everyone on the other team proceeds to immediately rage at those two medics because they know they can't do anything to them once they get going. The only thing you can do is if a pyro is competent enough to understand he has a secondary fire mode. <laughs> That is like hell to fight against. It generally is, but that's when I see that I switch to pyro so I can counter it. Because they can never get their crit charged if you constantly air blast them and what make them run out of their Uber. I'm a medic, but yeah, <laughs> I don't get the joke. All right, uh, I'll, I'll I'll put it this way, Matthew. Um, so they ha the medics have a, a a weapon that allows them to give themselves and whoever else they're healing temporary invulnerability. There's a melee weapon that allows them to charge that up quicker. Every hit gives them a quarter of their charge. So four hits gives them a full charge. That full charge usually lasts about 15 seconds, I think. Maybe a little bit longer. Um, it's shorter if you heal multiple targets at the same time. But if you have two medics with the same loadout, one is doing melee and the other one is keeping them invulnerable, um, Neither of the medics can be injured, and the other medic is able to build his charge up while the other one is expending his charge. So it's just a never-ending cycle of, of building and, and expending. And because of that, unless it's interrupted, they cannot be stopped. There is nothing you can do because they are completely invulnerable to any and all damage. The only way you could stop them would literally be to prevent them from hitting anybody. Which is very hard to control if you don't have the right characters. That's just how that is. There's no way to shut it down unless you're playing a, unless you're playing something that can control movement, which usually is just a pyro. Oh no, he's back. He's back from Brazil. Send him to Ohio. Why do we send him to Ohio? Can I mod send me? <laughs> can a mod send me to Japan? Uh, I don't think I can do anything about that. Anyway, yeah, I can't believe we're on such a big mission at the break of dawn. Uh, poor steady now. <laughs> Next episode, our future. So is this the finale? The the tying all the point, tying everything together. No, oh, there's still two chapters. Really? Oh wow. I thought it was ending at this one. Send me to Isekai. <laughs> that may not be what you want. The food was weird even though it was tasty. Stay sharp, everyone. Follow Seiya's instructions or you'll be lost in the catacombs. Y yes, ma'am. Ichika, please report. Did you find Sensei yet? S yes, we found Sensei, but Tsurugi is a bit... Uh, well... Tsurugi, is she okay? Um... Uh, no, that's not, that's not, no, that's not why. Oh, hello. I've not seen her yet. She do be kind of cute, though. Sugi, please, that's a wall, not a door. Same thing. <laughs> Too late. 
Sergey. <laughs> that, yeah, that's Sergey, all right. I don't think you understand. It's just because it's a wall doesn't mean it can't be turned into a door. I, and the same thing with a door. You can close the door and it becomes a wall until you make it not a wall. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's tricky. What is the Justice Task Force doing here? Greetings, Sensei. I'm Ichika from the Justice Task Force. I met briefly at the Gourmet Research Society arrest, but never formally. I'm here to rescue you. Thanks, Ichika. It's good to see you again. <coughs> Pleasure's all mine. Sumi, Ichika reporting in. We've secured Sensei and Mika. Great job. Retreat to a safe zone as soon as possible. We've secured a route in the catacombs. All according to plan. You two ready? There's some people eagerly awaiting your safe return. Yeah, one of them might need severely patched up right now. Oh, Nagisa. Sensei Mika, thank goodness you're unharmed. I wouldn't say unharmed! <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a very interesting definition of unharmed in Nagisa. <laughs> very interesting definition of unharmed. Nagi, how are you? Why are you, how are you here? Am I dead? You're certainly not. You are currently standing in the command center of the Arius Reclamation oper bleh, Operation. But how? How did you get through the catacombs? I showed her the way. Say it. Say it. You really are a dummy, Mika. As usual, your impulsiveness ruined things. I've always said it was your worst trait. And you're always such a meanie, but what happened? Are you okay? It's a bit of a long story. <coughs> Oh, we will never know. At least for now. I met someone in a dream. It was a long journey, but to summarize, I made a deal and escaped Beatrice's grasp. Should I be worried about said deal? Saya? Cough, cough. Captain Saya, Saya is... Please, I need Nagisa. And bring the Sisterhood and the Justice Task Force here. Hurry. What? Oh, okay. If you say- I've never seen this face from her. There's no time. Sensei and Mika are in grave danger. <laughs> JN, yeah, no, that's not at all. It'd be funny, though. As soon as I woke up, I asked for the Sisterhood, the Remedial Knights, and the Justice Task Force. During that talk, Nagisa swore she would abdicate all her authority if we could just save you, Mika. I beg of you to help me. Please save Mika. I implore you as well. <clears throat> this is... Raise your heads, Nagisa Seiya. You need not bow to us. I understand Mika's situation, but also Seiya. I'm relieved to see you recovered. What happened? It's a long story. Understood. I will not pry for now. More importantly, Sensei's safety is the priority. The Sisterhood will support this operation. There are many students at Trinity who owe Sensei, including me. They'll be glad to help. Thank you. Please stay safe. Many of them are probably doing this for me, or for Sensei. Not Mika. I kind of feel bad. I hope they can turn the leaf. This is all I know of the catacombs changing patterns. This couldn't have been easy. Thank you, Azaza. But are you sure I can't go too? Then who will greet Sensei when we return victorious? And our reputation won't last long if we need the makeup work <laughs> makeup work club's help again. Especially from you for this particular mission. Even Hanako is staying behind to support us the best she can. <laughs> Trust in us. Okay. Um it's okay. What would you like me to say? 
Oh, what would you like to say, Le? Please save Atsuko. If I know Sensei, Atsuko's already safe. And we'll make sure to keep Sensei safe. Thank you. And I, ho I hope everyone else can be safe, too. Even though they pointed their guns at you? At your friends? Even so, they may be villain to committed heinous, heinous crimes. But they were my family. And that is an angle that Sayori did not see. <clears throat> uh, do you know what time it is right now? Yes, it's so early. Why are you in your swimsuit? God! <laughs> early that not even the birds are awake. Now let's search that map, Yui. Wait a second, what are you wearing? Oh, this? I was taking a walk. I mean, I was swimming when I heard the message. I don't think this is it. Let's go to the next page. Which one is it? Are you swimming or taking a walk? <laughs> Wait, here it is. The old map of the catacombs left by the ancient council. This page is about to crumble apart and it's badly faded. Yeah, that's why I came to see you, Yui. You're the magician of the old library. Ugh. You can restore it, right? Time is of the essence. Oh, uh, I know you can do it, Kozeki. <laughs> I'll help you in every way possible. How did I get involved in this? Move, move. We don't have a moment to spare. Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> huh? you're Koharu. Yes, I'm also from the Justice Task Force, but I'm in the Makeup Work Club right now, so I'm not allowed to go. Do you think you could give these to a high-ranking person in the tea party for me, please? What are these? A ribbon and some accessories? They belong to someone from the tea party. They were in the Justice Task Force contraband storage. Oh, I understand now. They're Mikas, aren't they? I heard they were stolen and burned by angry students. I guess what the task force recovered got mixed in with the confiscated items. Technically, yes, I was secretly taking items that were in decent condition. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but... Oh, I see. Okay, Koharu. I'll give them to Mika. Thank you. Koharu. <laughs> Everyone. You guys are gonna make Mika cry again. <laughs> we can't rely on Sensei for everything. Every relationship should go both ways. So we came here on our own to save you, Mika. You really are such a narcissist. You make everything sound so self-important and complicated. I wouldn't say that's narcissist, but okay. I've always wanted to say that out loud to you. <laughs> But you know what? I like you a whole lot, Seiya. And Nagi, are you kidding me? She brought tea all the way to the Arias district. <laughs> nah, she brought a table. She brought a whole table, too. <laughs> Is she a tea addict? Does she have a serious problem? But I like Nagi more than anything, tea and all. There's the XD face. I don't know how to feel about that statement. You guys are my favorite. Thank you for coming for me. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Mika? Stop, Mika. I'm the one that owes you an apology. All this time, I told myself I was waiting for the perfect moment to apologize. But in reality, I was being immature. I was avoiding it. Mika, when you told me you wanted to reconcile with Arius, 
It's okay, Seiya. You didn't do anything wrong. It's all my fault. I'm just so sorry. Mika. I'm sorry for crashing the reunion, but I have something for you, Mika. Do you know, for me. Here. This. My accessories? How do you have these? I thought they were burned with everything else. There was a member in charge of the contraband storage. How do I explain this? That student collected the accessories that didn't burn and hid them away. Koharu. Yes, it was Koharu. Well, you know who Koharu is? <laughs> yes, I do. Tell her I say thank you. I can't believe she did this, even though I always bullied her. I'm sure you have a lot to talk to each other about. I would say so. But for now, I believe we all have a hearing to attend. Uh, I think you guys have an operation first before the hearing. Oh, great eye. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the eyes. <laughs> she opened her eyes. <laughs> Wait, you want me to go to my hearing looking like this? Can I take a shower first? I want treatment for my wounds and to get my hair done with a fancy curler. <laughs> it's the least you could give her. She literally held off an entire army. Yes, Mika, you may have the fancy curler as well. <laughs> yes. And then all three of us will go to the hearing together. Although we all look a bit of mess. Uh, one of us, one of you more so than the other two. I'm coming too. Yes, of course. All of us promised Mika we would attend, didn't we? I'm <laughs> like, she kinda, she kinda did a whole bunch in this towards the end. Kinda, give her a little bit of a, of a break here. She needed it. <laughs> And the last episode, I'm assuming. Well, I do. Why I do enjoy this when I haven't played the game. The story is actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. Uh, um, like the entire game has a really good story. And it's really. It's not necessarily that it's like heavy like this one was, but it's it's got it's a mix of that, but also really good comedy. So. It's pretty good to read. It's part of the reason why I like these streams so much. <sighs> you want to get cake girl still, Mika? Oof. I've never gone this way before. What if it takes us somewhere horrible? We won't know until we try, Yori. From now on, every path we take is an unknown. It doesn't make it less scary. <clears throat> huh? Where's Leader? Wasn't she behind us? She disappeared. Maybe she was eaten. Tch. You sucky. Leader left. Left? What do you mean left? How could she leave? Where'd she go? I don't know. She just said to take care of the others. But why? Leader. It's unfair, Sayori. If I have to do this on my own, I... It's too heavy for me. It'll be okay, Misaki. You may? Sorry, we'll need some time. She needs to learn who she is to reflect on her questions. She'll find the answers she needs on her own. But will she come back? I miss her already. Of course, she would never abandon- Yeah, she's gonna come back. I, I mean, it, it wouldn't make sense to her character for, you, for her to do that. So we have to keep going on our own without her? Sorry has taken care of us all these years. We owe her this much. But how? Where'd we go? Aris, Trinity, Genna, we're not welcome anywhere. I beg to differ on one spot. We'll be on the run, staying, never staying in one spot too long to avoid capture. Are you prepared for that life, Yume? Yes, I was prepared the moment we decided to live. Oh no. <laughs> he was like, oh, oh no. Yume, ideals won't feed an empty stomach. I know, but we can do it. Wildflowers bloom through the cracks in the concrete. 
Azusa said that to me once. Even if everything is in vain, we will s keep struggling in vain. Uh... Typo. <laughs> if Azusa did it, so can we. We've been through a lot together. And this time we're not entirely alone. Sensei. Okay. Somehow. Yes. We all have our we have our work cut out for us. Venatas Venatatum. I see what you did there. Is she meeting us? Who's she what what's she doing here? What's your story, newbie? No one ends up here without one. Not the talkative type, eh? I don't care either way, as long as you're skilled. What kind of requests are you looking for, easy or hard? Give me an expensive mission, the hardest one you have. I'm a criminal on the run now. I know it won't be easy. But there has to be an end to the road of pain I've walked all these years. Is there a happy future for us if I reach it? Oh, I see what she's doing. We'll have our happy ending. I have faith in the wildflower blooming in concrete. I have faith in you, Saudi. Alrighty. Saudi should just join Problem Solver 68. I don't think she would want that. Actually, does kind of make me wonder how Squad and Rabbit Squad would would be would interact with each other. I actually really do wonder how that how those two would interact. Also, this is kind of it. Kind of reminds me of what is it? A Heavy Jewel team from Senra and Kagura. They used to be part of the school, then they left the school. And then they can just kind of on their, on their own now. It's a similar ending, I guess. Yeah, Heavy Joe's Crimson Squad. Sorry, I should always say that. Homer or Crimson Squad. Heavy Joe Squad is the other group. That's the... I forget what her name is. White-haired girl. I'm, I'm thinking Homer. Crimson Squad. We're at the trial now. Trial is now in session. Or... Yeah. Sensei, I'm, un I'm unable to have prophetic dreams anymore. That was the price I paid to escape my never-ending dream. I have, to dis I have to discuss my last prophetic dream with you. Oh! No! Not Shiroko Alter, or whatever the name she has is. One day though, right now I want to remember this moment. We've all finally been reunited. And as always, we'll work together to overcome any obstacle. Okay, let's start the hearing. <clears throat> They're not gonna just not let us know about the ending or the result, are they? They have to say something on it. Otherwise, I'd feel like it's kind of a bad way to end it. Oh, really? <laughs> This isn't what I'm owed. Hmm? 
I don't follow. What's with this? This isn't even half of what I was promised. You're the one who broke our promise. It says right here on the contract, student pay is a thousand yen. But you hid the fact you were a dropout, so it's 500 yen. Wait, what? Wait, that's... This is the calculation after subtracting taxes, various expenses, and meals. Any problems? Also, it looks like you're wanted. Wouldn't you get in... Wouldn't you get in trouble if anyone knew you were here? I have to deduct an additional 15% as an information protection cost. What? Wait, then how much do I get? 350? Zilch, nada, nothing. Good day, sir! <laughs> you loose! It might as well just not even work for him! The exit is right that well. well. Do you have any complaints? I'm sure you could direct them to the Valkyrie Police Academy. <laughs> I mean, you probably could. They're not, it's not like they're gonna be competent enough to capture you. <laughs> No, I get it. I'll consider this lesson learned. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Hi, Haruka. Excuse me. Oh, you're the one I gave the commission to last time. Uh, yes, yes, um, I forgot something. Forgot something. We've already finished the calculations. Um, right, so... I kinda sorta blew up a building. Forgive, forgive. I won't forgive you! Kablam, 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 I'm forgivable! That's the wrong person! How dare you steal all this money, I'll never forgive you, I'll make you wish you were never born! Oh. Eek! Ar Aris, I should go make my point to do the calcula calculations correctly. I think I've made my point. Problem solver 68, Saori. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there was someone else here. I'm so sorry for the commotion. I'm sorry for existing. It's not a big deal. Okay, then. I have some bombs to install, but she's uh, that fake. <laughs> oh, Haruka. Uh, problem solver 68. <laughs> Certified Haruka moment. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the whole building's just gonna be blown up. <laughs> Is this how the criminal world operates? No! I can assure you it does not! <laughs> what?! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just don't know how to do anything right. I'm sorry for upsetting you. Do you want me to disappear? I should never have been born. <sighs> <laughs> You're really the best, Sonica. You definitely made your point. Oh, there's some big bad guys you blew up. What you gonna do now, huh? This is gonna be a pain. Can I have one day of peace? Okay, they <laughs> I'll take that ending. <laughs> this is why I like Blue, blue Archive. <laughs> I love how they just shoehorned that in. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> she, she's not, no, because that would require an actual plane. She just blew it up. Is killing a robot illegal? Considering how many times we've shot automata, I don't think so. The unwelcome ending. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I do really do, I, I do really wish they uh, actually gave us the results of the hearing because then that would at least add to the nice, you know, if they're intending for it to be a negative sense, then sure. If they want it to, if they want to build up suspense and make it like a whole thing, another arc where she has to like do something else, I guess. I don't know. I feel like there's some things missing when they don't include the hearing, but that was funny. Are <laughs> the, the the problem solver 68 out of nowhere? Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> So I think that is all we have for now. I don't know when they're going to release anything new. If we're going to have a new volume or if we're going to have a new chapter released. But we will definitely cover those as, well, as they come out more. Um, I do... Oh, I still have to go back and... Uh, hang on. We, we got we to gotta go back, chat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, 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 oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. We're gonna be here a while. We're gonna be here a while. I feel like I should be giving this more time so she, she could say a line and then just not just make one line. Does she have a head pet animation? Yes. She doesn't seem too thrilled. <laughs> and I have to get all this. Sweet. Uh, punishment game... Punish... Uh, excuse me. Punish game development department 12... Excuse me, what? <laughs> what? 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 To the Millennium Scrimmage. Oh, well, 12 times, that's gonna be, uh... That's not gonna be anytime soon. Steve Miller, of the Millennium uh, Library, Central Trinity, uh, Central Library in Trinity, Millennium Monorail Station, and the Gen Academy Hub. So there's a, I think it was two libraries, Monorail Station. It was Gena. I forgot where. There's also the Foreclosure Task Force. Okay, so I think there was. Correction. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, I, uh, I'm trying to figure out what that translates to. I think that's like six dollars or so, but thanks for the 300. Correction time, I'm scared. Uh, where is the train station? Or monorail station, that's what it's called. Thank <clears throat> you. <laughs> You can use sleep. Yeah, but I think you only get what? Two a day, don't you? It's two a day. So it's six days for that. Uh, I need Gena Library? Is it library? Or Clubhouse? That's Clubhouse. I think it's this one. I think. Watch me mess that up. I hope I did. 
it was library at Trinity. Central library or old li Oh, shoot. Uh, there's two of them. <laughs> shoot, which one is it? <laughs> Bondo with Nin Nin. I'm gonna assume central. Because that's the easy, easier one of the two accessibles. Okay, and then I think it was foreclosure task force related ones now. Uh, is there one with two? Can I, can I, two for one? Can we do the double dipping? Uh, I don't see any so far. I see some Nin Nin. I did see one Oji-san, which is like the only thing I think I have right now. That is not a duo I expected to see in whatever. <laughs> that is not a duo I generally expect to see. <laughs> Doing a stream for the new blue art, uh... Coming Tuesday. Maybe. I might if I have time. In a study room, too. Oh, no. Oh, that would count. Because I'd have Angi, Angi Summer, er, Angry New Year cat. I forget which cat, when this was. And then we have Atsuyo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Check Red Winter, but I don't think I have any two pieces, so I might have to just double down here. <clears throat> Bond with Atsui. I like how that's how you guys just choose to word it. Bond with Atsui. Uh, last one. I kind of want to just put it in and see if Gena's got a good spot so I can get a purple again. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll get a purple. Maybe. Nice. <laughs> guys are funny. Alright, I missed the day four one. Unless I'm Linium Library! Ah! Dang it. Okay, I'll get that one tomorrow. We're almost there. When two battles with C and C student, that's not hard. Uh, recharge AP one time. Uh, I'm not gonna spend money or spend gems on that. Anyway, um, someone has earned a few pulls. So uh, let's take care of that, shall we? Oh yeah, I, I I don't plan to ever touch that. Uh, I never do that. I think it's a daily you could do too. I've never touched it. No, we got decagramation. I gotta finish. Alrighty, I can afford a few here. How many minerals today? I don't know. We'll see. I would I would like to hope. We shall we shall see what happens. Pop, pop. We have full sent it. Ah. Uh. I tried. <laughs> I tried. It's not a mineral, technically. <laughs> I say you need. Eat. Oh, I know. I usually that's what I usually say those for events, though. I don't think that counts for the refill, though. 
and ah uh, yes wife character <laughs> I like how, how it's not fast. I wonder if it actually is possible for you to write out Mika XD. And Utaha. We shall see. You're able to get Sayori in 50. Ooh, nice. Congrats, congrats. I want to see if I can just... If I just scribble it a bit faster, I might be able to do it. Let's see. <laughs> nope, that was even worse. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, was that six? Was that six? Was that six? Excuse me? That was a lot of two stars. Ah. I think this bag's a win, chat. We Mari is here. I still think it looks like a, like a, 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 a thing of TNT or dynamite specifically. Rather than probably what I is, probably what is just a pivot for her shield, I think. We got bird. Shinatsu. Double steady. <laughs> and Hare. Yep, story is all done, Starflame. No Hanako. No Hanako yet. Ah, oh, couldn't get the D that time. Oh, Alright, maybe we should probably just start plowing through these. Man, I got a lot of Serikas today. Where's our Serikas at? Hang on. Where's the Serikas at? How many Serikas is... I have to be getting close. Has it been taking this long before? I don't remember it taking this long. <clears throat> Hang on. Uh, for those that are wondering what we're going to do next is Decogrammation. I think I've got the three or four story chapters left there that I, I do have unlocked. I just need to... Where are we? Oh, we are very close. That's what, four? You get what, five? You get five of their E-lifts when you pull them, right? So that's a little under three. Technically, it's two and three. Two and three elifts somehow, which would just be hard mode or something. Assuming I get two more of her in this time I'm pulling. Oh, it's time. Yeah, it's times three, right? <clears throat> I've been getting pretty good luck on those, actually. All right. We will stop after the next one from this one. Unless it's this one. We'll see. Back from shop. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Hime. If it was a spook, that'd be funny. I have a very, like, it's usually very common that that happens. Alright, here it is. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be very common. <laughs> She did make the ending of the story rather sweet, though.
これから一緒に美味しいものを食べに行きましょうか Wait, is that my Akari? Hold up. Can I actually see how many of those elifts I've got? No, I can't. Darn. Yeah, it's more Trinity, which is funny. Is my Akari five star or is she still four? She has to be close. She has to be close. Have I made you five star yet? No, you're still four. Literally just two. I'm gonna be one over because if I roll, if I even get one elif on a hard mode, I'm gonna get triple it, which is just gonna give me one more over the top. All right, this is the last one. I'm probably okay giving for now, unless we have a. I don't. I don't know what banners are coming up. <laughs> I got one of the Makari or. Oh, I got one of her. So we're close. I might actually be able to get both of them on hard mode today. That's at least a win. Jim, Yuka, and Mari. Oh, I see. Oh, Moe. A girl who is a little, a little much. All right, let me see if I can pull this off. Let me see if we can at least get. We need. It was 13, I think, for uh, Setika, but now it's down by five, so we just need eight. So getting a triple roll on hard mode for Setika is good enough. And then I just need a single one of Akari, and we're and we're good. So if I can get either of those, that'd be amazing. Though it is RNG, and I do not have all the stages unlocked because I haven't bothered to really go that deep into them. So let's see. I need. Let's see how lucky we. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, there's one. There's two. So we are now at 118. <laughs> They're both at 118. <laughs> Who's gonna get it first, though? I mean, if I go over, it's at the end of the world. I already did the lessons. There it is. We're done. Let's take it right here. Just need one. Just need one. Boom. Oh, double. Okay. And then let's dump it into Shiroko, because why not? Two. Nice! Six! I'll take that. Do like the sensei and pull your credit card. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the, the exchange rates for this game. It's a little too mean for me to justify that. Yeah, it's usually a weekend. Well, I mean, I guess if there's one good thing I got out of this, it is... Um... Boom! Oh, yeah, I've kind of focused on getting... This is kind of something I wanted. So that's done. You now have your weapon. I probably don't have materials because it, it surprisingly takes up a lot of those. Mark of Gluttony. <laughs> There's another game that uses that too. Oh, wow. Oh, right. I have like f a bunch of these. Well, there you go. Pack 
power of level 30 gun. The other one is Angie Cat. Boom. Okay. Right, see you, Latifa. Thanks for hanging out, man. Gun. Yes. Not enough, sadly, but to start. I don't think I have anyone else I can really work on for that right now, aside from like any of these. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even know that! Well, she's four star now. That's nice. I didn't even know she was available. Or she was. I was able to do that. The toxic gamer. Oh no. I think that's everybody in terms of uh, uh, mystics. You can just farm for Midori and Momoi. Yeah, probably. I could do that. Or laugh because polls just somehow give them to me because that's what happens. Head pet trash bunny. I can't really actually do anything till we get her uh, lobby. We need to get her lobby first before we do that. Poor little trash bunny. There she is. Look at her sad. <laughs> She's still sad. Kind of the same thing. Okay. You know what? I got Momo Talks. I'll do one more. I'll get a benefit of the doubt. Oof. Unfortunate. Eef. XD. <laughs> the sound of a very- Ah, oh, that was a mineral! Oof! The regret. I mean, I don't mind her. She's adorable, but the regret. <laughs> the regret. <laughs> Is Doria Momotox? Yeah, I have 117. They do be greedy, though. It's a gotcha. You can never win. You, you win and you lose. You have good. You have periods of good time, uh, good luck, and periods of bad luck. Is very normal. Okay, I need to do these three, which are already unlocked. I just need to actually do them myself. Do you read Easy Summer? I've not read Summer Easy as yet. I do want to. But we need to go through this first. So we have some story to go through. These are usually relatively short, though. The ruins, where is that? Oh, you don't know Amy? I suppose not everyone can be as smart as me. Oh, right, I forgot this is Himari. I forgot, this is just how Himari is. It's an unidentified area where the General Student Council prohibits entry. It's been abandoned and neglected for so long, people began calling it the ruins. But nothing is known about the origins, about the origin or identity of the city, and research is prohibited in that area. This is my first time hearing about it. Even President Rio didn't tell me that. Well, Rio wouldn't have. She doesn't talk about things she considers important. Rio is very interested in the ruins. She's like an evil villain who wants to monopolize information. But even so, rumors of the rumors of the ru <laughs> the face that she makes half the time is hilarious. But even so, rumors of the ruins always circulate amongst Millennium students. Don't you know something about that place, Sensei? 
Maybe a little. Aris. Yeah, I was gonna say, Aris. No, forget it. It has nothing to do with this, this mission, and it's a long story. We'll talk about it next time. Back to the topic, the ruins is like Trinity's catacombs, or the, uh, yeah, the abyss of Guinness. We've not been here yet, I don't think, in a volcano. It's one of those mysterious areas of Kivotos that there's little information on. It's been virtually unexplored. It's a place, it, it, it's a place? This is is unnecessary. That took me a second. <laughs> it's a place where things and people to disappear and are forgotten. Like some sort of sewer. Sewer, septic tank. I like to use those word kinds of words, you might. You think it's dirty and you're judging me, aren't you? You're giving me that look again. It's just an analogy, okay? I'm not as strange as you make me out to be. But you could use any other analogy. You know what, Amy? All right, let's stay on subject. Yes, Sensei. You got us off topic again, President. Yeah, I mean, please. I may have committed many sins in this relationship, but this one was most certainly your stuff. Uh, ladies, please. But I'll stop out of respect for Sensei. You're wrong, but I'll stop too. It stop. <laughs> The next place, the next target in the ruins. Yes, the fourth prophet chest may be hiding somewhere in the ruins. Chest. Dengar Mation made contact with the production AI of the munitions factory and assimilated it as one of Dengar Mation's prophets, gaining access to an infinite number of troops. Chest is essentially a munitions factory that produces Dengar Mation, the Dengar Mation army. It's Dengar Mation's main source of troops. However, it's almost impossible to pinpoint the location of the munitions factory in these vast ruins. We need more data. So our next target is the Decoration Army at the ruins. Yes, we'll collect data from the troops and try to track Chess's location. Understood. I've read of the path to the ruins. We'll enter th from through there and start the mission. Let's go, Sensei. I feel like it'd be just Amy herself is not exactly the best. Uh, what am I even? What am I even fighting here? Is it just the automata? Yeah, it's just heavies. Hmm. I'm gonna let game. Oh, let's let's do some game time here. Angry Junko noises. Where is there? She is. I said let's let, let's let this trio have fun. Then I'll switch it out. Turning skill. This should be relatively quick, though. It has been ashed on it. Oh, yeah, there's like the whole. What is it? Uh. Uh. What is it called? I don't know what to call that. <laughs> board, I guess? Info board? You dirty about the go clean. I like this song so much. Oh no, we've been flanked on multiple sides. This really is not a. Oh no, it's a Goliath! Not a Goliath! <laughs> Not the Goliath! What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm actually surprised it survived a shot to be honest, but I didn't buff Eordi at all. David wins again. I mean, would you consider Eoria David when she's an absolute, like, monster of a unit? 
Great work, both of you. Yes, I think we have enough data. No problem, it was easy. I guess it's my turn. I have to backtrack through the collected data. Hmm, I see. I see. This might take some time. I'll work on calculating chest's location. Would you mind waiting for a bit? Yes, I'll wait. Good luck, Marty. I feel like I should just- I feel like the next team should just be all angry characters. Like, Surugi and a bunch of angry people. <laughs> How many angry piercings do we have? Oh no, it's just chest. Well... <laughs> it is not simply just chest, but I, 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 I know what this is going to mean. The cheese ball is here. It's a ball of cheese. <laughs> is this what? Is this what chest has become? I'm not Tsurugi, Tsubaki, Tsubaki. Sorry, Tsubaki. I meant to say. I always crisscross their names. I don't know. It's probably just because of the suit at the beginning of their names. I'm done. I have the coordinates. This is the munitions factory and where chest is. I'm assuming it's just called chest. I don't know. It's not cheese. <laughs> One does not simply cheese that boss. Are we going to infiltrate the factory then? Yes. I'll set up a route that leads directly to the main body. Your job is to infiltrate, locate, infiltrate, locate chest, collect data, and retreat safely. Sounds simple. Simple. You say so, Amy. Yes, since I have the president and sensei support. Fascinating. It looks so reliable right now, Amy. Is this an illusion? Am I dreaming? It's not an illusion, and you're not asleep. It's just true, like the fact, like the fact you love sewers. It's, <laughs> this is not true. I am a beautiful, delicate hacker, not a sewer lover. <laughs> Let's get to the mission right now. This is politely moving us along again. Please be careful. Okay, let's go. We're off, Amy. This <laughs> slaps does cheese. All right, let's see. We need we need Subaki and Team Angry. How many Angries are there? Let's see. I know we obviously have Junko and Neru. Do we have any other Angies that are leveled? <laughs> it is implied that she is literally soloing these bosses. It's kind of funny. Yori can be kind of angry around Sen around Sensei though. Actually, do we have any? It's Mis Mystic is okay against Heavy, right? No, it's explosive. Okay. Who is the angry explosive? Well, that's Cat. That's just angry Cat. Unless there's anyone else that's angry. Alright, that's Team Angry. God, it can be angry. Uh, yeah, I guess. That technically is anger in a different way. Is this the fabled angry team? I don't know any other angries. Is there any other angies? <laughs> this is not simply just the giant ball. Well. 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 It might actually just be a ball. Because he's too slow. He is very slow. And it's over. <laughs> What? Junko, what is going on with your mouth? What's going on with your gun? What's your- Oh, oh, the game is slowly 
destable. It is. It is the. I am. I'm getting out of here. I'm. I'm getting out of here. I'm. I'm getting. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Excellent work. I'm looking at chest data now. <laughs> yes, you're welcome again. I'll ignore that. The next is... What? What's wrong, President? I'm looking at chest data. Yes, this is concerning. Please explain. There are strange coordinates here. It must be somewhere in the ruins. I'll need to investigate this. Give me a moment. Okay, let me know when you're done, peasant. Run away! Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that was it to that, okay. Defeat all the enemies within 120 seconds. That's not that hard. It literally took a 70. <laughs> and I'm not even using amazing characters. Well, at least leveled and amazing characters. They are actually amazing. They're just not really leveled. This is the last one, isn't it? Dude, I forget how short decoration can be. Probably for its own good, though. Ruin Submerged District. Amy, Sensei? What did you find? I followed the coordinates and picked up a signal. What kind of signal? It appears to be some kind of call sign. I almost missed it, but naturally nothing can get past me. It's disguised as white noise, but... I remember the pattern. The call sign's pattern is exactly the same as the being that hacked us. Oh. Do you mean it's the AI? Yes, Deccan Grimation. It's... I nearly didn't believe it, but... Of course, I never doubt my own work. The signals match. I think I'm following. So Deccan Grimation is at the ruins? Based on the data, yes. Well, our mission is to uncover Decogramation's identity, right? So why don't we attack it right now and skip all the data collecting? Do you really think I didn't think of that? But our goal is to reveal its identity. If we provoke it now, it'll just like it'll likely just slink away somewhere we won't find it until it wants it to, us to. We should confirm my findings first, on the very slim possibility that I'm wrong. We'll investigate where the signal came from. It was a very brief signal, so I can't pinpoint a specific location. The scope in a large section. The scope is a large section of the ruins, so this may be a, a several day venture. Is everyone ready? Okay. You one shot as soon as you spawned it. Yeah, I mean it's it's level twenty eight, so it didn't surprise me. This is really funny. What's happening this time? But I'm, I'm gonna let Angus play again though. Oh no, it's a little uh, plug bots. I don't know what else to call them. Oh, hello. Keither. Keither. Never mind. Not, not Keither. Let's see if this works out. Ah, oh, you almost finished it. Oh. That's not all of it. Uh, she's back there. You know what? No, let's go. Ah! <laughs> you just can't finish it! Neru! Neru never, never is able to finish. 
She leads it at 60. Is this the challenge stage? There's a challenge stage? I'm just doing story. Oh, there's a CC student uh, mission. Are you both okay? I'm unharmed, physically at least. What was that, President? It's beyond even my knowledge. Best guess would be a new prophet that was unknown until now. It really came out of nowhere. I don't like getting surprised. I'm glad we were able to retreat safely, but I must say its movement was different from the other prophets. I know that kind of behavior. It was trying to guard something. Which must mean... Decoration really does reside there. Perhaps it's created this new prophet to protect itself. Um... Maybe thinking to me, Amy. Himari, please. Our mission has moved to a new phase now. Could there be something in the submerged district that's protected by the prophet that we shouldn't see? We'll just have to find out. Miss yes, President, this mission will be much more difficult than our previous ventures. Agreed. We'll need to find a way to thoroughly search the ruins. I don't care if the prophet tries to stop us. Nothing blocks us from what I want. Well... This is going over four hours. Uh... I mean, we're probably about... I'm probably near dawn. I do need to handle a few of the things on uh, my end before I, uh... Oh, there are challenge stages. How hard is this to do? Woof. 90, that's definitely not happening. Why can't you not rock? Uh, I don't know. Also, it's this thingy. So we have two of them. That's kind of cool. To be continued. Yep, that's pretty much it. Here. Main body protected by a huge exoskeleton armor that cannot be removed by ordinary means. Uh, what do you mean by ordinary means? We can literally just. No, wait, no, sorry. Fourth prophet of the Declaration. It's uh, before being hacked by. Yeah, it was up from, uh, everybody read through this. Origin of its name is the fourth Sephira of the Tree of Life chest. Also seems to be protecting itself with a large number of robots produced in the munitions factories. Chess is the most important being for decoration because it's not a threat in itself. However, as long as chess exists, decoration's forces cannot be exhausted. It's because of chess that decoration is able to send troops out in a war of attrition throughout the Ooh, Let's go to decoration. AI in inhibiting... Inhabiting that. A mechanical body said to look like a giant snake and whale combined. The origin of its name is suspected to be the third Sephira of the Tree of Life, but not. Its source and origin and principle of operation are still unknown, but it's suspected that it's made of paranormal technology that cannot be reproduced with modern capabilities of technology. One of it was created through chest, then, or something like that. Minok can tunnel in and out of ground, and when hiding underground, it's difficult to detect with the existing technology. It's suspected that the reason Bena is mainly seen in Abydos District, where desertification is progressing, is because the desert is a favorable environment. Records records of Bena date back to the first sighting in the Abydos Desert since ancient times, continuing with rare but unconfirmed sightings to this day. One such incident occurred when it appeared at multiple railway construction sites every few days when Saint Bleh are fighting AI. Yeah, pretty much. A native company of Abydos was promoting their Trans Desert Railway construction project. The most recent example is the battle between the Kaiser PMC stationed in the Abydos Desert and the Na. It appears to have significantly disrupted the Kaiser Group's excavation work. Detailed research data on Bena was compiled by the Abydos Student Council two years ago, but it's said that it was lost in the process of moving the school's main building a few years ago. As of now, the reason for Bena's activity has not been determined. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce any of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like level 70 at best, and all my XP materials is being dumped throughout the uh, multiple characters, so. Okay. Oh. Well, this is it. Uh, I probably want to 
say that's all for now because I want to focus on, uh, I got videos I want to edit and I have not finished them up. I'd like to finish them up if possible. Not to mention there's a few other things I need to do as well. So it probably would be what I want to do. Uh, same thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for streaming this week. I'll have to see. And I've got some stuff that are picking up. Um, I think Ark Knights have its, has its rerun coming two days from now. Yeah, it's on Tuesday. And there's apparently new content coming out for this as well. So we'll see. Uh, I'll have to figure out what the schedule is going to look like. I need to figure out when everything's coming out. Um, so that'll be that. I may just do videos. I'll have to see. I've also got a pretty big... I know I've got some stuff that's going to be pretty big this week. And uh, I know this weekend's also going to... The next up in the weekend's going to be a little bit rough as well with uh, um, family things popping up. So we'll see. So, anyway, um, I will look into schedule and also get videos out. Hopefully I can get time for all that stuff and I can get that out for you guys. Um, I'll set to see how the week will be. I will have to f probably play it by ear a little bit here and figure out when everything's coming out. But uh, yeah, each have their different end dates of the events. Yeah, I mean, technically the Arknights event's a rerun, so that won't be too bad. So there is that. Um, the Blue Archive event is going to be new, though, I believe. So, um, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I'll figure out when I'll be setting up streams for that. I don't think there's anything I'll need to do for Ozlane yet. I'll probably go relatively light on streams because that way I can focus more towards videos if I need to. Um, plus, I think that'll work out better. Um, trying to find a nice balance there so I can make sure I can get both you know, both types of stuff out. Um, there is, I do, I am kind of working on uh, kind of a summary of what we learned thing from uh, the new event. I, I actually did it only in, for, a, this is for AL, by the way, for us only peeps that are currently watching. There's a video I'm going to be working on there as well. But uh, yeah, I'll see what I can get uh well, I can get uh, planned and everything, and I'll let you guys know as soon as I get that out. So, hopefully you guys are having a good rest of your weekend. I know it's almost the end of it. So, that said, have a good week. Sorry, the week. And I will see you guys in the near future. Have I gotten Royal Oak? And, uh, yeah, I've, I've got them all now. I have everybody in the uh, event now. So, I am all good. Uh, I just need to start building up cubes again and just playing through the event and getting all the things I need now. I actually don't need Royal Oak at all because I got it. I think I got a duplicate. I got a duplicate Royal Oak before I got uh, what's her name, Implacable. So I won't have to worry too much about. I mean, as unfortunate as it is, I'm not gonna have to worry about too much bullying, but I need to use my bullying up. So that's gonna be the thing I need to figure out. So anyway, I will get the plans out as soon as possible when I uh, when I am certain I know when I'll be able to do things, and that'll be the plan. I do plan to get. Uh, some more stuff for Blue Archive. Probably do some, uh, what are they called? Uh, normal talks as well. Hang on. <laughs> Probably do some normal talks and I don't know. I may save the actual club ones for streams when we have time because those would be nice. I think the normal talks are going to be ones I want to keep. But yeah, that is the plan for now. I will let you guys know when everything works out so anyway hope you guys had a good time i definitely did story was very good as pretty uh, <laughs> the ending was great <laughs> that was less pretty than ending though i wish there was one thing we could have had and that was knowing the end of the results of the trial but other than that it was pretty good so without further ado have a good rest of you guys this weekend and i will see you guys all in the near future thanks for watching and hanging out i'll see you guys soon